testing, testing. Yeah, I know, it's a bit early. Who said schedules need to be on time? Huh? Who said they needed to be on time? I sure as hell didn't see anyone say they had to be exactly on time. Problem, do you see the ability to turn on closed captions? Quit it. I should have added the functionality, but I don't see the button appearing on my screen. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do to get that button to appear, because I definitely have captions enabled. Oh, no, I see them now. Okay, the, I guess I just needed to start talking. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Because somebody who wanted to watch my stream was deaf, and they wanted me to have captions. Honestly, I don't see a lot of streamers use captions, and it was, like, super easy to set up. So I'm surprised a lot of people don't do it. It's auto-generated, so it's going to mess up a little bit, but it seems pretty good from what I'm seeing. Like, I'm shocked a lot of that more people don't do it. The song's a flop. I can't wait for the remake of this game. I might spend or dedicate a week to just playing this game, the, the remake of the game that this song is from. Just dedicate a week to playing it on Fucking sick. I'm just gonna wait for some people to probably pop in, maybe. I shield to like every possible place that I can shield. Oh no wait, no, I haven't. There's a few places I can shield myself to still. Translated as dude, dude. <laughs> oh, it got it right the second time. That's funny. Seems like it does mess up a little bit. Yeah, it definitely messes up sometimes. Okay, okay. Let's start this cursed ass bullshit. One second, let's just turn the song off. Hear that little ah oh, for a second. <laughs> and first, actually, before we get any further, I think we need to show you just what you're going to be getting yourself into with this. So I won't have the skin enabled right away because it, I have to get the knight set because the skin replaces the knight set. So, but I do have a save file that has the knight set equipped right now. And unfortunately, because this is modded, I have to play offline because that would be cheating otherwise. I'm sure you can understand. Which means we're not gonna get any funny messages and for some reason my controller is not working. Yes. Please, fuck off, controller. Okay, one sec. My bro controller is being a fucking butt. <sighs> I might need a new controller. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay, so here's what you're about to get into with this bullshit. You ready for this shit? You're not ready for this shit. Here it is. This is... This is what we're going to be playing with for the entire playthrough. Once I, once I get it on the new character. Look at this shit.
Oh, no, absolutely. I know that you can't play online with mods. Like, that's just, like, what mo the nature of mods. <laughs> yes, it's cursed. It is very cursed. And that's exactly why we're playing it. Okay, so enough... Uh... <laughs> okay, one sec. <laughs> this is gonna... Yeah, no, I don't think there are any like inherent dynamic bones in the Elden Ring me uh, engine. So, like, it's just not something that can be done easily, I think. It'd be awesome if they could, though. But, I mean, it's still pretty, it's still a pretty nice appendage without the dynamic bones if you know what i mean i like it anyway i'm perfectly fine with it not having dynamic bones obviously it'd be better if it did but eh, beggars can't be choosers one sec uh gonna get a few more people to try and join here I don't usually get a lot of viewers on my weekdays, though. So that's something that is just going to have to be inherently a thing. My weekdays are going to have lower viewership no matter what. Weekends are definitely my best. And I think that's because a lot of my viewer base is EU right now. I need to get more NA fans so that my weekdays aren't as dead. Yay, Pearl. Hello, Master MRL. How are you today? Uh, let me know if the captions are okay. I'm testing them, and they seem okay. But it definitely messes up sometimes. Like, one time I said nature, and it wrote mother. So that's just going to happen sometimes. <laughs> yep, exactly. The exact screenshot that you sent me is just what happens with captions sometimes. I'm really sorry that I can't get it more perfect than that. It just said Christy. I did not say Christy. So yeah, apologies that it's not perfect. Okay, so I'm just showing this off because we're not going. Yeah, it po it wrote Christy when I didn't say Christy. I'm saying it now though. For the most part, it works. It's just a little weird sometimes. Yeah, I'm looking at like the preview, and it's mostly getting it right. Man, it'd be nice. I think the only way that I would be able to get captions better than the auto-generated captions for a live stream is if I hired someone to type out what I'm saying in real time. I think that's the only way that I'd be able to get it better than this. Still, okay, so this is the skin that we're going to be using. But the very start of the stream we're not going to have this skin equipped because I need to first get the knight set before we can actually have this skin because it replaces the knight skit. The nice skin. I said skit for some reason. That'd be a pain in the ass job. Yeah, it would be. But it's the only way that you'd get accurate captions is to have someone type it up in real time. Okay, let's get started on this run. So we're going to be doing an intelligence run.
I think there was a new update, but I'm not sure if I got the new update. Acura captions. Krippa, maybe you could help me out. If you ever notice anything weird in the captions, you can maybe let Master MRL know that that's not what I said. He's the... So, <laughs> maybe just give me a hand. Oh, wait, but you're probably going to have to go to bed soon. <laughs> you're probably, you're probably going to have to go to bed. Okay, I get it. You don't need to keep sending me pictures of how weird they are. I am aware of how weird they are. To be honest, that is what I'm saying in some cases. I said in, not and. Okay. New game. Uh, I want to go an intelligence build. So which one of these is the best for intelligence? I think that was either prisoner or astrologer, right? Those are the two best for intelligence. <laughs> you can choose the uh, the wretch. <laughs> The naked one. We're not choosing wretch. Wretch, not rich. Damn you, auto captions. I'm trying to like correct it when it's wrong, but sometimes it's just wrong. <laughs> Okay. Uh, prisoner, I think that's an intelligence one. Big ore mind, endurance strength. It's got mix of dexterity and intelligence. But this one is the more pure intelligence. I think this is the one that we want. Hello, Wither. How are you today? Wither. 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 No, not weather. Wither. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to get the captions to say the correct thing. Okay, I need to stop looking at the captions. I'm sorry, I can't keep correcting them. That's going to just be an absolute pain in the ass. Okay, we're going to do Astrologer. Uh, type A, I guess. It doesn't really matter. His name is... Puro. <laughs> Puro. Puro. Captions don't know what Puro is. <laughs> the captions don't know how to say Puro. I'm not bro. Okay, it's... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I can't keep trying to correct these. This really doesn't matter. We're an astrologer, the keepsake. We're going to start with, obviously, the best one, which is Golden Seed. We don't care about appearance, because our appearance is going to be completely replaced by a skin. How does it call out my main Skyrim class? I'm not sure. Okay, so when I alt tab, it kills the audio. So I can't alt tab to check the captions anymore. In fact, I don't hear any audio at all right now. But it doesn't matter, we're skipping the cutscene anyway. No shield, I don't want a shield. <laughs> I want to put my staff here, 
and my sword here and remove the shield. We're not playing with a shield. Shields are for losers. Shields are for nerds. No, I said, I just said, sorry, I, I think I might be used to playing with different controls. I am used to playing with different controls. It's fine. I'll get used to it. Okay, just remembering how to play. Don't mind me. Our very first objective in this playthrough is to get to the knight armor set so that we can be pro. So that is our initial goal here. And unfortunately, we don't get any of the funny online messages because we're modded. Our number two goal after getting the knight armor set is to make it so that we can wear the knight armor set without fat rolling. All right, but first things first. Let's see if we can beat this boss. Come on, bitch. What are you going to do about this? I've got the pebbles. Ain't shit you can do about it. Oh, he's blocking it. What a dick. Oh, I'm out of magic, and I have no way to recover it. All right, we're going in. I got hit. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> I'm going to be lurking and checking in at times. I'm going to be doing some VR. Okay, that's fine. No, I need to wear a specific armor set for the Pearl mod to activate. If the captions didn't capture that right, let MR Master know that I need to have a specific armor set equipped. Okay, it sounds like he got the picture. So my very first objective is to get the specific armor set that turns it on. We don't need to do no tutorial. We're men. It's the knight armor set. I can get it from the round table hold for by, by buying it. So my first, I'm just going to be rushing to that point so that we can get it. I don't care about cooperative multiplayer, so we can ignore that message. Think of it like this. Uh, in this game, armor sets will change your appearance. So the mods just replace that armor set with the appearance of something else. Oh, I just accidentally used my my my, my drink. Okay, let's talk to this nerd. Oh. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Of course you have. Unfortunately for you. Oh no. He said the line. I'm maidenless. Without guidance. What am I supposed to do now? And without an invitation, you are fated. I'm going to die in obscurity. Man, why you got to do me like that? familiar with grace the golden light you may also behold its, it's golden, golden rays okay i know this already that's great my dude what else you have to say guidance will reveal the castle store the home of the decrepit okay that's great i'm off and no we're not going to fight the tree sentinel I made unless, is that what the caption said? <laughs> you guys are just going to keep riffing on me whenever the captions are wrong, aren't they?
First, we need horse. Give me a horse. And so, the age of the transfers begin. It's uh, Hi, Zenny. How are you today? I'm currently rushing over to get to the place where I can get the armor set so that the mod can be activated. First, we got to kill this guy, though. Yes, I'm aware of how to use sorceries. Be back in a few minutes. I'm going to get my charger for my phone. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I've never played a sorcery build before, so this should be fun. I want to try to avoid making it an overpowered sorcery build. Oh, wow. That doesn't have as much range as I thought. All right. So where was the first site of grace that we can get to again? Over here. There we go. I can get the horse from there. Okay, let's just skip this cutscene. I apologize for anyone who actually wanted to understand the lore of the game from this world, because I am basically just going to be skipping through... Oops, I accidentally skipped through that. I forgot about the choice. One sec, my volume is really low, like my personal volume, so I'm going to turn that up a bit. I can like barely hear the game. Okay, so the first thing's first. I want to have, what was the one? I'm just going to put it here. Is that the ability of, the, is the kick the ability of my sword? No. Oh, it is. Yeah. Kick. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I activate that again? Do I hold... The... I think it's Y, right? I hold Y? Yes. All right. Wait. Where... How do I open the map again? There we go. Okay, I should probably get the map. Don't mind me. Just grabbing map. <laughs> okay. Where am I heading? I think I need to get around here. So I need to go up this way and go around the castle and then s rest at the the one across the way there. And then we can buy the knight. The problem is I need the runes to buy the knight armor set. So I might need to grind for a little bit to get the runes needed for it. I didn't realize there was a golden seed just right there. Where are we heading? Over here, right? Oh, hello, doggos. I'm sorry for anyone who liked those wolves. Oh, there's still one left. I think the knight armor set is three. The thing is, I don't think I need the whole knight armor set to have. I think it's just the helmet that gives me the whole thing. So worst case scenario, I could just buy the helmet and that might give me what I want. Everyone, 
Just gonna talk to her. I'm sorry for anyone who cares about the lore once again, because I, anything that I have read already, I am just going to be skipping through. It only typos if it can't check for fix the world in context or if you didn't enunciate it clearly. Does that mean I'm going to have to speak slower and more clearly? Because I don't want to have to do that. Whoops. Or something, I don't know. I'm glad that it's accurate most of the time, at least. Hello, friends. How are you today on this fine day? Do you want a tango? I want a tango. We're just going to drive by Slash. Let's go. Bitches. I need the runes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do what? Like, speak slower for the captions. Oh! I've completely forgotten where things are. So, exploring is still going to be really interesting for me because the only thing that I really remember the locations of are the things for my own build. From my previous game, which was a Strength Faith build. Hell yeah. Oh, hi, there's another person here. Slash and gallop. That's the strat right now. Okay, so this is uh, Morgot, which I, who I absolutely cannot kill right now. But I think by resting at this grace here... No, I think it's... It's the grace beyond the castle. Or the one after killing... Oh, hi. We'll rest here anyway. Anyway, we're not fighting more god now. We haven't even leveled up yet. Classic Dark Souls. Just circle someone until you get a backstab. <laughs> Ow. What am I doing? I'm a mage. Get pebbled. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's just... Let's just go. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, no matter what I do, it's going to make some mistakes. I think it's this way that I go, right? Oh, wait, nope. That looks very much like a dead end. All right, I've got to check the map again. I think I have to go down. No, or up. I'm trying to remember where I need to go. I think it's down. I know that you can get around the castle from like a little pathway to the side of the of the cliff. And I think it's this pathway right here. But I'm trying to remember how you get there.
Because this currently we're not furry enough. Over here, maybe? I think I found it. Here? Oh, whoop. I didn't want to mark that. One of the streamers I watched has someone tell them that they need to be reported because they said the N-word, which is just... Oh, I see. Gonna have to be careful about that, then. Am I just back to where I was before? I am just back here, aren't I? Shoot, I'm lost. <laughs> Alright, I see a path. Was it the other side that I'm thinking of? One sec. I thought it was like here. But how do I get there? <laughs> Why not make all armors modded with the skin instead of just looking for it? Uh, because it doesn't work like that. I'd have to like copy the file almost a hundred times and rename it a hundred times to get that to happen. I mean, I guess I could, but... Hmm. It would be a lot of tedious BS that I'd have to do. And I'm not even sure if renaming it like that would actually work. There's a very real chance that that wouldn't even work. I'm just assuming that there's a chance that that would work. Uh, closed captions doing closed captions things. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place. I just need to find the right path to it. Maybe I need to go higher up. Like this way. Hey, it's dumb, but it's better than nothing, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure it was this way. I feel like I'm getting... Like, I feel, like, stupid right now. Like, I'm pretty sure this is where it was, but I can't find the path for some reason. Maybe I just... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to cross here. Let's talk to you first. You. You. Sure, read my fingers. Head traverse, pray and reunite. Oh, family stones. Thanks. I appreciate that. Ah, here we go. I think this is it. Or at least it's it's something. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is it. Stream's frozen now? Is it frozen for anybody else? Okay. 
Sorry about the Discord ping. Uh, yeah, closed captions, doing closed captions things there. Sorry, I'm going to close Discord for a second so that you don't get Discord pings while I'm playing. Anyway, I found the path. Not frozen anymore? Perfect. We need to kill stuff because we do, in fact, need some runes. Because if we don't have, we need runes to buy the stuff. That's not your fault. It's my fault for leaving Discord open. Here we go. This should give us access to the round table hold. Yes, it did. Excellent. To determine if you had, it seems torrent. Whereas I may, there is, but I can take gathering plate very well. Let us go. We can get the night armor set now. But I think I'm still like a thousand five hundred runes short. Oh, I'm quite a bit short. <laughs> I need quite a bit. <laughs> I need... Okay, so we're going to have to go get some runes. Okay, need a thousand more and plus a bunch more. Maybe I can sell some stuff. Or I can just go grind a bit. Yeah, we can just go grind a bit. Let's go back to here. There's a little great, really great place to start bitch slapping some people here. And with magic, it should be a breeze. I hope. Let's get some stuff while we're at it. These people don't know what hit them. Hello, big night boy. You ready to get destroyed? Oh, he's blocking. Oh, that's cheating. He's cheating. But I can cheat too. There should be quality options. Maybe you just need to turn those down, Master. Stop blocking. Blocking is literally cheating. But if you're going to do that, then I'm just going to cheat too. Ow. I just kind of let that happen. Oh, hi. Hello, friend. Oh, shit. He knocked me out of the sky. Uh, 
Out of magic. We're out of the magic juice, but that's fine. We have more. Your shield does nothing against my magic. Hey, a smithing stone. That's nice. Fine here, too? Okay. Might just need to turn the quality down. Nothing beats just classic L1 spa R1 spam as an Elden Ring. I don't know what's down here. I think it's the uh, whetstone. Might as well grab it while I'm here. No, it's the Ash of War. Yeah, it's the whetstone and the Ash of War. I'm going to need some sort of intelligence scaling weapon. I pressed the wrong button to dodge, but it's okay. Almost got enough to buy the first part of <laughs> the degeneracy. We're getting close to it. Let's respawn all the nerds and kill them again. There's probably a faster way to grind this. How dare you block me? That's just rude. Has anybody ever told you that you're rude? Okay, we've got 3,000. That's enough to buy the helmet, so let's go buy the helmet. Because I think the helmet actually contains the full model. And the other armor pieces are just invisible. Here we go. Yep, yep, it does. Okay, so this is pretty cursed. <laughs> so if we want to get rid of the other armor's pieces, we're going to need... We need to... <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. If it wasn't for all the clipping, it would basically just be Pearl wearing like a cloak and stuff, and that wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> At the very least, I think we need to buy the chest armor. <laughs> but let's just roll with this for a bit. Honestly, it's not that bad looking. Like, <laughs> like the clipping in the it's the clipping in the legs is what really kind of ruins it. But otherwise, it's really not that bad. <laughs> All right, we've acquired we've acquired what we care about, though. <laughs> we have obtained. Haha. <laughs> with clothes, it's somewhat normal. Honestly, let's roll with this for a bit. <laughs> let's do it. Let's roll with it. It's kind of cool. Let's do it. A little bit of clipping, but not terrible. Let's talk to people in here. I never did this guy's side quest. She's my servant. Take your eyes off if you find her. I've definitely found her ser his servant, but I haven't done anything else with him. Also, hello, master. Welcome to the round table hall. I teach incantations. The strength grant explore the secret so that one day, if a time ensuring all the way. I do see it. Do. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? I pretty much don't need incantations this run. Golden order shine through you. 
Yes, it's what how the mod works is that the helmet is what contains the model, and the other armor pieces just make everything else go invisible for the model. So the the entire model is in the helmet, but everything else just makes it go dis go poof disappear. But honestly, I I think I might roll with this just because it's kind of cool looking, and it also means that I don't have to invest any stats to get. Because if I were to equip the full art knight armor set, I would need to get stats that I might not need for my build in order to not fat roll with it. Also, hello, Master. We got the Puro. The Perot is what, apparently. Unfortunately, we've got some other stuff going on since we don't have the other armor set, but it looks kind of cool. All right, let's go. That's interesting. I expected to be parts of the models and individual armor pieces. That show the parrot. <laughs> yes, exactly. You got it. It's daytime now. How about we kill these guys again? You know, just a jolly time to engage in some murder. Ooh, another smithing stone. That's nice, actually. Lovely weather for a sport of killing. You bet. Hey, that's not nice of you. Anyway, I think it's time we go to explore some caves and stuff. And remember where everything was. Because it has been a couple months since I've played, and I've actually forgotten quite a lot of, like, the locales and stuff. Ow. So... And once again... Oh, shit. No. Fuck. No. No. <laughs> that's it. First death, guys. <laughs> I got... I got fucking gang gang banged there. <laughs> okay, we need to go get my runes back. First death out of many, boys. Your shield is means nothing to me. I think my first order of business would probably be the ow. Uh, would probably be get get a weapon that scales with my magic, my instat, so that we can actually cut people and do damage. Do not call the cavalry there, bitch. Oops. Wrong potion there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everyone's coming. Uh-oh. I don't think this is quite what Pearl wanted when he said he wanted to see humans. Aw, oh, shit. Come on. No, don't don't do the thing that counters my thing. Ow. This guy actually has a shield that blocks my magic. What a little bitch. All right. Maybe we could just break his armor? And I'm out of pots. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, pure skill. We did that with the effort of skill alone. And I just realized I haven't picked up my runes yet. Shit, I almost lost them. Let's go grab those. Without dying, ideally. Oh, hi, wolf, hi, wolf, hi, wolf, don't hit me. He didn't hit me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's blood. He's thirsty for blood. We're okay, though. Super armor on normal mobs. It's not that they have super armor. It's that my damage is so shit that it doesn't break their poise. I should be able to level up. I don't... I think my intelligence stat is already pretty high. Yeah, my intelligence is at 16. So it's actually already really high. So the most that I probably would want to get that to is 20 for the time being. I'm eventually going to want to pump that stat up hardcore. Like, hardcore. But right now, I think I definitely want to get my Vigor up. Because that's a really pathetic Vigor stat. The stats that I'm mostly going to be focusing on in this playthrough are Vigor, Mind, and Intelligence. I don't think I'm going to care too much about other stats. Maybe some Dexterity, because that affects casting speed. But probably not too much of that. I can always just equip that Talisman that increases casting speed. We're definitely going to want a Vigor. I'm taking that as Super Armor. Yeah, essentially you have like a Poise. And if your damage doesn't break the threshold of the poise, then it basically acts like super armor. You know, the more I'm using this with this cloak, the more I really like it. VR is so sweat trapping. Okay. Ooh, look at the guy on the horse. He thinks he's so cool. Let's knock him down a peg, shall we? Or maybe he'll knock me down a peg. Oh, shit. Epic horseback battles. You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, get up. Get up. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Okay, a little scary, but we killed him. I might as well help that guy. Oh, come on, I'm hitting the tree. There we go. turned me into a tree you were just breaking the spell well thank you the name's bok the blood effects on this gun just look deterping i kind of like it <laughs> it looks kind of look kind of kind of badass lucky you came along really oh when they threw me out and so this is all i have i hope that's fine mushrooms are nice i could you're not going to sneak into that cave, buddy. I'm going to get that for you. Someday. I mean, who wouldn't want to be an anthropomorphic furry character mage? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Imagine a game where every character had plot armor except the player. Holy shit, that would be like... That would be painful. I must say, I'm already liking Elden Ring more with this skin. Like... I'm already really liking it more. 
And that's saying something, because this is already one of my favorite games ever made. Okay, where are we going first? Uh, there's a mine here. There's a cave there. Uh, I guess we could go down here at some point. There's the Crucible Knight stuff. I want to get my Vigor up a bit more before I really start to fight some bosses. Oh, wait, are you talking about the horse? One second, we need to raid this camp with my magic spells. I honestly think magic is very fitting for Puro. Like if, like, if you think about it, he's definitely like someone who studies a fuck ton. So he would be someone who decides to study. Would Their fighting style would be more based on their ability to study. So it just makes sense. It's also an interesting build that I've never really played before in these kind of games. I've always done, like, Faith or something like that, but I've never done, like, the Sorcery Incantation method route in Dark Souls games. I could say right now, though, that this Pebble alone is more versatile than a lot of incantations were. Which is pretty funny. Knowledge is power. Let's check over here. Maybe knock another guy off of his high horse. What are you going to do about pebbles? Ow. Dodge them. That's what he's going to do. Stay away from me. I said, stay away from me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Roll. Just roll spam. Just panic roll. There we go. <laughs> what does the horse do? I've never actually killed these guys without killing their horse. I didn't... So the, I guess the horse just dips? Oh, yeah. As I said, I think physics would be really hard to do in this game. Like, actually, there is one skin that I saw that actually did have physics to an extent. And it was a Mewtwo skin. But the, the physics just copied the physics of a cape. And trust me, it did not look good. I would much rather have no physics than what that Mewtwo skin tried to do. Another smithing stone's pretty nice. Oof. I might be able to show it to you, actually. I actually still have that skin installed. It it replaces the blade armor set. Also, I fully expect the captions to be absolutely unable to pronounce blade. Blades. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Oh, hello there, friends. We're not engaging with the two giants right now. Not today. Waypoint ruins. If it's ruins, that means there should be like an underground little catacomb that I can get to with items. Blade. It's B-L-A-I-D-D -D or something like that. But it's pronounced Blade, I think. I'm, have you not heard of Blade? He's like... He's like the most popular character in the game. <laughs> At least to a certain demographic. I don't know what I'm going to use. Oh, shit. I might die from this. Okay, no. I just took a little damage. 
seen fan arts yeah <laughs> i figured you would have seen them anyway there should be like a place to go underneath here where is the there they are oh there's a boss here i think i'm gonna go find a site of grace before i fight that well, let's just mark that to remember that it's there Yeah, I know, Blade. Great vampire killer. Oh, you sweet source pull soul. Fuck, I can't talk today. Come at me, group of baddies. I'm ready for you all. Including the tasteful ones. Ah, yes, a man of culture. Not my culture. But a man of culture, nonetheless. There should be a site. I feel like there should be a site of grace around here. I remember there being one. Where are you? Is there really not one around here? Ooh, graveyards are always good for runes. Give me those runes. <laughs> Did they do a few for the big wolf man? You bet. Reminds me of how people are currently doing that over the new wolf dude in the uh, Zenless Zone Zero game. You definitely need to, Wither. Yes, it is. Apparently, the fan art channel in Zenless Zone Zero official Discord is entirely that wolf guy. Like, entirely just him. Just not nothing but him. Which is just the funniest thing to me. Nope, I accidentally wasted that. Wolf, please. I'm trying to vibe here. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yep, that's just how it be. It just goes to show that more games need to do stuff like that. You get free publicity, both positive and negative. Only I can be the mage here. Royal House Scroll? Is that something that lets me buy more magic? I didn't even know that that was there. It might end up being extremely useful. <laughs> Speaking of, I should probably find a Sight of Grace before I die a horrible, painful death. You mentioned wolves? Yes, I did. Alright, where is the... Oh, wait. This gives me Starlight Shards, yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, Quepe. How have you not seen them? You need to go look them up now. I think you will find them quite nice. Because I definitely do. Oh, that is just rude. Wait, did you like convert them into over to what? Specifically, you're going to need to be pretty specific about that. To be fair, Ori in the Blind Forest is an absolutely phenomenal game.
Whoa, what the fuck? 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 Suddenly bear. Oh shit, I might die. What the fuck? Where's the sight of grace? Yes, Quipe, I am absolutely sure. The fan art channel is just full of that one guy. What? What? Just happened. How did I... What? I was too shocked. I didn't pay attention to what just happened. And I died. <laughs> Alright, that was... Uh, quite the experience. Now, if you excuse me, I have some runes to pick up. No, I don't care about... No, fuck me. I'm going to lose all my runes, aren't I? Yep. I don't know why I was stunned for so long. Well, that was just a fuck ton of stuff that we just lost. I guess that's the Elden Ring life, though. That was like 3k. Uh, that wasn't that bad. 3k is penny change late game, so it's not really that big of a deal. But it's 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 a pretty decent amount right now. Will of the Wisp is a masterpiece and you should complete it. You get lost? It's not that complicated of a game. I thought for sure there was like a site of grace somewhere around here. But I can't find one. Oh wait, I think I see one. Like right now. Oh wait, no I don't. I feel like there should be one around here though. Crab eggs. Ignore the giant crab and just kill this thing and run. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Explored everywhere and got stuck trying to get to one of the locations. Anyway, back to Elden Ring. Wow, because I didn't find a Sight of Grace, I'm all the way back here. Fucking great. <laughs> Whatever, I want to go here. To the Waypoint Ruins. We're going to fight the boss there. Now, just a, just a heads up, as you've probably noticed, I'm not good at this game. I think the Waypoint Ruins has uh, the one person who can shop <laughs> where I can get some stuff. Oh crap, I do like no damage because I'm hitting his head. Oh shit. Any way to not hit his head? Alright. Magic sucks. <laughs> Against this guy, anyway. 
because apparently my character is completely incapable of targeting something other than the head. I say as I immediately try to fucking do it again. Oh, there we go. Yo, attacking twice isn't fair. Oh yeah, I can just do this, can't I? Oh no, I can't. It still hits the fucking head. <laughs> it's... All right. All right. There really aren't too many enemies where <laughs> you just can't hit them with magic. He's the boss. He makes the rules on what's fair. You know what? You're so fucking right. I was a fool. Oh, he's so slow. I'm getting owned. Oh, his range is way higher than I was expecting there. I missed. I missed. Stop missing. Ow. Okay. Boy, you aren't lying. <laughs> it's about time you realized. I already played Honkai and Genshin, so I'm, if I'm going to play any Hoyo game regardless. Okay, that's fair. But isn't he cool? He's so cool. Playing as a mage and having my magic get almost completely blocked because some guy has a pot on his head is kind of a feels bad man moment. I, p I pressed the wrong button again. Hey, this is how you play the video game, though. Ow. You asshole. He just knocked me out of the air, the bitch. And I got stunned. <laughs> and I'm dead. Hell yeah. We're playing the video game, guys. <laughs> It's funny, because if my magic didn't get blocked by his head all the time, this would be an easy fight. I might have to turn my brightness settings up, because I'm also having a really hard time seeing him. I pressed the wrong button again.
Ow. Yo, I don't want to know where stuff is. I just want to, like, find it naturally. Because I don't know where all the magic stuff is, because I didn't mad do a magic build last time I played. I kind of ignored the location of all the magic stuff. Ow. He didn't say where in Caleb. I'm pretty sure I know which one you're talking about anyway. Well, I know they're of a staff in Caleb. I don't know which one you might be referring to. But I know about the fucking fuck. I hate this boss. All right. Okay. Not having, not being able to hit him effectively with magic is a real feels bad man right now. All right, you know what? We need power. And by power, I mean I need help. We're going to power up that bigger. It's 746. You didn't see the time? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe somebody needs to go sleepy sleep. How do you stay up that late, my dude? If anything, you should... It, look, Quipe, think of it like this. If you went to bed at a normal hour, you would be able to watch my weekday streams in the morning. Because <laughs> I start at 7 a.m. for you. And that's a reasonable time to wake up at. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to use a thing there. Just past midnight for you? Don't worry, you might be able to catch a lot more of this playthrough, because the next time I'm planning to play this game is on uh, Sunday, Saturday. The next time I'm playing this game is on Saturday. Uh, Thursday, we're going to do something different, because there's a new game coming out Thursday, and I want to play that. I do want to beat that boss, so we're going to go back and try again, because I think there's a, somebody, if I beat that boss, I gain access to a shop where I can buy spells and sorceries. Mental in... Ugh. Hey man, stop calling out my captions. They're just Google's auto-generated captions. There's not much that I can do about that. They're mostly there just as an option so that somebody like Master, who was here a little bit earlier, isn't totally screwed from me. Oh, are you talking about your sleep schedule? Yeah, you need to work on your sleep schedule. I slept till 11 a.m. so you have the energy. You guys seriously need to fix your sleep schedules. I go to bed at around... Uh, 11 or 12 and I wake up at 6 30 at the latest so I get like seven hours of sleep at moat and wake up at reasonable times we're gonna win this time I can feel it I missed that one though I dodged that with pure skill. Don't let anyone say otherwise. Same with that, that, that one.
All right, thanks for stopping by. We'll be continuing this uh, cursed run on Saturday. Hell yeah. Shit. I'm not good with the controls. Uh, here we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Touch Grace. I love that meme. Touch Grace. <laughs> I like this art. Okay, let's see. More health, please. More health, please. I think I'm going to get my vigor to about 20 or so. And then once I get my vigor to 20, I think I'm going to take my intelligence to 20 after that. And then after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is the first time I've not needed to be up from 5 a.m. until 10 p.m. for my brother. I want to hang out with friends, but don't have the time during the day. Ah, I see. Tarnished, are we? I wonder you should turn up here. I am Sally. Why are you here? I want to learn sorcery. A yen for glimstone sorceries. Well, your aptitude does appear Possible. Yeah, you bet it is. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Akaza Revile. Do you still wish? Hell yeah. <laughs> Very well. You are now. But I refuse to coddle. Anticipate grievances. Fine by me. Uh, what do we got here? Glenstone Pebble. I already have that. Grinstone Stars. Is that any good? I guess I could just buy it and try out sometime later. Crystal Barrage. Source Scholar's Armament. Uh, until I get a weapon that naturally scales with intelligence, this might be worth using. Damage negation. Parents went on holiday last week and this week, and he has exams this week, so I'm doing housework. Shoot, I just remembered I need you to go get ready meals from the shop nearby. Yeah, you should probably go do that. I'll still be here when you get back. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes so. To become a source now. Give you the scroll. Very well. I'll be sure to incorporate. Never lose that in quick. What do we got here? We got Glint Blade Phalanax and Carrion Carrion Slicer. I think both of these are really good, right? I definitely remember both of these being good, especially the slicer. Because it's sort of like a close range slashing option for magic damage. And I think the the Phalanx is good, too. Tomorrow, no grocery stores are open at midnight? Ah, fair enough. I thought you meant, like, you had something ready already and you needed to go pick it up. I also keep forgetting that it's midnight for you because it's still completely sunny outside for me. I'm gonna take a qu very extremely short break just to grab some water. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Just going to check Discord real quick because I just realized I could totally shill my stream to someone. Okay. So what next? Where are we going? Uh, I haven't really found any caves really. Sorcerer Selen is going to be really important for this run. I think the number one thing that I want to do right now is murder these guys, I guess, because that's what I'm doing. Maybe try to find some better staffs. I can't remember where shit is. <laughs> so this is just going to be me exploring with my head cut off. Which is part of the joy of this game, is to being able to just explore with your head cut off, and you'll find some really interesting things. But at the same time, I don't really want this playthrough to be a hundred fucking hours like my first one. So I am gonna be like take, not taking too much time on things like I did before. This playthrough is still probably going to be long though because this game is just massive and there's like no way to get through it quickly. Well, no way to get through it quickly unless you intentionally perform skips. Those level 1 golden runes are actually pretty decent early game. So I should grab them when I see them. Is there a way to switch to your left hand weapon while on horseback? Because it would be really cool to just quickly switch to my staff and start slinging spells on horseback. And I know I could just switch the staff to be in my right hand, but I don't want to have to do that. Damn, the Clinstone Arc kind of slaps for range. For AoE. Ow. Help me. There we go. Also, I just realized I should do this, uh, this one here. I like having my Cerulean Tears on that. So I can just quickly go like this, just, just drink the magic stuff. That's what I did in my last playthrough and it was really effective. Hold triangle plus L1 to switch to your left hand weapon. Oh fuck, that's so cool. Oh, sweet, thank you so much Fire Ninja. Also, thank you so much for joining my stream. How are you doing today? I'm 
good? Good, good to hear it. Anyway, that's awesome. I'll be able to cast spells while on horseback now without having to do some BS. I hope you're enjoying the cursed content I have on my screen right now. And by that, I mean the skin I'm using. Touch Grace. I think I want to keep leveling up my Vigor. I don't necessarily think I need to level up my damage stats. I feel like early game, uh, most of my damage is going to come from weapon upgrades. So I'm not going to really pump my intelligence until I need to hit like certain requirements for skills and spells. And I just got another smithing stone one, so that's pretty freaking nice. There is no cursed, only cute. You right, I'm so cute. I'm dupe. You figured I'd try to have mod two hours to mod Elden Ring to get it. Uh, I don't have the rest of the armor set equipped because that costs a lot of runes, so I currently just have him like wearing clothes right now. But now I'm currently at the point where I actually really like how this looks. So I'm, I might just have Kuro wear these like the armor sets throughout the entire game and maybe just eventually find one that looks even better because like this looks kind of cool on him I really like it there's some clipping that's the only real problem but otherwise it looks nice you like you like that the mod lets you wear armor yeah me too it's cool and of course this is the most important part back here mm, yes that's the that's my brand right there in a nutshell. Very nice. Okay, the first things first. Uh, maybe we'll grab that, that map over there. And then I'm not really sure where to go now. Uh, in my first playthrough, I did Strength Faith. And I kind of remember where a lot of the good Strength Faith stuff is. But I have no idea where the good magic stuff is. And I want to keep it that way. I want to, like, naturally stumble upon cool things like I did the fuck. I might die from that. Okay, no, I'm good. Run away! Bitch, do not. I just want my map. Might as well get some EXP while I'm here. Ah, <laughs> bitch, you can't do shit. <gasps> oh, I got his armor. But I think I'm going to want light armor for this playthrough. I don't want to invest too heavily in the stats to wear heavy armor. That just sounds like it'd be a waste of stats. Oh, I went to my wrong marker. I don't need the marker on the waypoint ruins anymore. I wanted the marker on the map. Damn it. All right, let's take let's get rid of that marker. And I don't need this marker yet either. I know where some good stuff is. Like, I know that there's a pretty decent staff uh, in Kaelid somewhere. Like, I know that, that you can fight, like, these mages, and there's, like, a boss there, and you get a staff for beating it. I don't know if it's a good staff, but... 
I don't know anything about the what the fuck's going on here. Who the fuck are you guys? I don't know and I don't care. Let's get that map. All right, Bear, how are you today? I'm just here to get a map, don't mind me. And there's the Sea of uh, Ruins. I don't think I want to go there yet, though. Sea of uh, or however you pronounce it. Let's just enjoy the beautiful scenery. And I think that's a church, and churches are always nice. Because they have stuff in them. We got our flask. More healing, always nice. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I know eventually I'm going to need to have like a bajillion magic flasks. But right now, I don't think I need too many of them. But I know eventually I'm going to need, like, tons of them. I think two should be enough for now. Yeah, that should be fine. going finger reader there's a cave here there's stuff and things and other things to do my neck is stiff Might as well get the Erd Tree thing while I'm here. Since it's like... Well, that's not an Erd Tree, actually. Uh, I don't think there's too much here other than, like, Blave and these ruins here. And Well, there's this fort down here. And I'm going to need Memory Stones, too, if I'm going to be playing this sorcery build. More spells means more fun. Uh... We can also try to fight the Crucible Knight. <laughs> that would be fun. I mean, in sarcasm terms. Probably... I want to find some caves. 
I haven't really stumbled on any yet. How about we let's go back to the beginning and just look around there. First step. Let's talk to this asshole again. Oh, well, you made it through that entire... And off you trotted to the round table po But how did you find the round... Oh, you don't before. The round table was chock full of veterans... I don't think I've heard these, this dialogue. I don't think I ever talked to him afterwards. Home to puff chests and has I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. Why not earn a seat? I'll fly straight and true. To join the round table proper with the two things. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind. Hmm. So why does everybody else, like, I, I, I get the impression that nobody has a great rune, right? So then how does everybody else be a proper member of the round table hold? But I need to go get a great rune to become a proper member. Were they, like, members beforehand or something? Like... Or are they just not proper members? His quest line is great. Yeah, I know. It, it lets you go to Mog early, right? Let's give this a try. Hey, bitch. Don't bring that up. Ow. Okay, this might have been a bad idea. You asshole! You fucking dickhead! You absolute magic countering jickwad. <laughs> Master, you don't need to apologize for going a -okay, AFK for a while. I appreciate you being here, though. Oh, my neck. I don't think I'm going to fight that guy again. I could probably beat him. But at the same time, it's like... Is the time invested in beating him going to actually be worth it? And the answer is no. I'm just going to grab my paltry amount of runes and leave. Hey, dickhead, you can't, you can't beat me here. I'm too strong for you. I'm too strong at sitting down and resting. You're a tarnish, but I can also see that you're not up. Then why not? I am Carly. I Who are you? Selling where the land has been tainted by madness. Dodged, easy. Shut its only tarn. Let's say you. You know. If you should buy yourself a crafting kit and house essential, really. If you the kit costs a bundle, but the important thing is that you survive. All right, I do think I want that crafting kit. Don't know how often I'm going to be crafting, but hey. And I think I want a lantern too. I don't think I buy the lantern from this guy though. What kind of biscuits are they? Now, I'm going to rest till night, because I'm pretty sure that I can get the spirit summoning bell if I rest until night. But I'm not actually going to be summoning this one. I want, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going to avoid summoning as much as possible. Hmm, I thought, she, uh, Renee was supposed to be here at night. Whatever her name was. And she's supposed to give me spirit summoning after I got the horse. Did I, like, miss it somehow? I mean, I don't plan to do spirit summoning, so... I don't... <laughs> really care. But... Or was I supposed to do that before going to the round table hold? I guess it doesn't matter. 
Let's just pass time until morning. I don't want to be walking around at night. You have no idea when she shows up? Ah, lame. Yeah, that's what I did too. I bought mine from the finger maidens, maidens too. I think you're supposed to go there before going to the round table hole. Which is fine. I'm not planning to summon anyway. It might even be better to not buy it to avoid the temptation of summoning. But then again, there are a few bosses that I think I might want to summon for just so that I don't have to deal with them. Uh, the two bosses in particular that I'm thinking I might want to summon on just because it's probably not worth not doing that is the twin gargoyle fight and the godskin duo. Thankfully, both of those bosses are pretty late into the game, so I don't need to worry about that right now. But those are the two that I might want to summon on. Just because duo boss fights are just a pain in the ass and, you know, fuck them. If I remember correctly, this game does give an abundance of upgrade stones. So, I really shouldn't be too concerned about upgrading a weapon that I might not take long range. It's only when I get to like upgrading the weapon to the much later levels that I start need to start being concerned about what I upgrade. So I guess this basic staff would be worth upgrading. I don't think I'm going to find a better staff than this basic staff for a hot minute unless I actively cheat and look up where one is and go right for it. Which I want to avoid doing because I don't want to remember where all the staffs are. Alright, so I might have just died. We didn't die. We're okay. How much to level up? adjust my microphone. I think I wasn't speaking directly into it. I'm like halfway to a level up. I want to get my vigor to 20 before I do anything else. And then intelligence to 20. And then maybe mind to 20? I'm not sure. Where are we going? Ah, where are we going? I guess we can... I think there's some caves down this waterway. There's also the big dragon that spawns here. Let's go back to the start. Check out to the left of here. I think there's a catacomb there. Two twenty PM for me. Uh it is eight twenty for me. So same time zone. Let's try to kill this giant. I think ranged will make this kind of easy, actually. These giants don't really have a lot of ways to deal with me being away from them. Yep, I was right about that. Wow, they give quite a few souls for this level of the game. I said souls, they're runes. 
This is basically a Dark Souls game, though. Oh, it's one of those invisible things. Souls, runes, what's the difference? I'm gonna try to cut him off. Where does this, what's his pathing like? Does he come here? He does. Oh, I fucking missed. Oh, come on, you bitch. There we go. I don't think I'm ever going to use that Ash of War, but we got it. There's a dude here, and he's a dude that's going to die. Wait, no. Not like that. Die. Stop missing. Pebbles. Hit the target, please. Thank you. I thought there was a catacomb down here. Is he ghost? I think so. Maybe there's one over here. Oh, these guys either have really high magic resistance or just way too much. Oh, they jump. Or just way too much health. Looks like it's high magic resistance. No, high resistance in general. Please don't kill me. I think for this guy, I want to pose break him, yes. What? They can heal? Yo, that's a dick move. We're just going to keep doing this until it dies. Yeah, this is working. I'm out of stamina. Please don't kill me. Not right now. Not when you're that low. Almost got hit there. But the panic roll. Always panic roll. It's always a good idea. Oh, shit. You know what, I could probably kill him with magic at this point. Yes, I was right. Oh wow, the magic does a huge amount of damage to him if I hit him right in the face. So clearly what we need to do is we need to orientate ourselves so that we can hit the face. Yeah, there we go. Now that's damage.
Hi, friends. How are you guys doing today? I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. Is that a shopkeeper? It is a shopkeeper. Let's mark him on the map. What do you need? I don't want any... Ooh, smithing stones. I kind of want to buy these. In fact, I think I am going to buy those. Because if I remember correctly, smithing stone ones are actually kind of valuable because they're they let you try different things. I remember having a hard time getting smithing stone ones at one point. We go zooming. And we're back. Let's go rest at the side of Grace and get my potions back. And also get more health. Not really sure where else to go. Probably here, actually. It'd be good to get some more upgrade materials. And who knows what else I'll find along the way. It's mining time, baby. Now these guys are these guys susceptible to magic? Yeah, they better be, because otherwise I'm going to have a hard time. Okay, they are. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah, they're really susceptible to magic. Damn. They're not even a threat. Hello, rats. Glenstone Arc, thank you so much. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a lantern. I forgot just how much, how dark this game can be without a lantern. Give me all the smithing stone ones. Anywhere I can jump to? Yes. Is this a trap? Wow, it wasn't a trap. That's a surprise. Oh, 
Okay, magic is pretty fun so far. It definitely feels like it has a pretty easy start compared to my faith build I had before, though. Glintstone Pebble just seems quite good compared to the early incantations that you get. It's just fast and effective. Getting lots of Smithing Stone 1s. Which is nice, because I need a lot of them. And I've already killed one of these giants, so this shouldn't be a problem in theory. Emphasis on in theory. Yeah, that's like half of his health gone already. Hey, that was easy. The enemies are not in combat and not on guards. This means you can kill them quickly, but if the enemies see you and you'll be on guard, then they'll take half damage from you. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Easy boss fight, though. Now, there's another section of this map that I haven't looked at yet. So we should probably go check that out. Oh, there's another little thing I could have jumped to there. Oh, well. Let's rest here. Oh, I got a lot of runes. Let's get my health back. Let's level up my health a bit. Bigger is almost at 20. So this time we're not going to jump off this elevator and we're just going to ride it straight down and see where that goes. Nance's roars and breath attacks. I don't you think I'm going to be using either of those, but I might as well equip it anyway. Those glintstone scraps are actually going to be really useful when I'm in a boss fight and I run out of MP. I don't think there's anything else down here. Let's just leave. And I think it might be time to upgrade my equipment and uh, maybe take out Morgoth. But there's still a lot of stuff to see and do and explore.
There's so much to see. I can show you the world. Ah. Uh, but that involves exploration. Uh, where to next? This seems interesting. There's probably a lot of stuff on Storm Hill. Can also buy some more sorceries from Selen. And there's this fort down here. There's the Crucible Knight up here. Let's go here. Let's see if we can take out that Crucible Knight. I don't think I'm going to be sticking with this staff until the late game. I'm not going to upgrade the short sword, but I am because I'm almost certain I'm going to find a better weapon eventually. But I think I, I should upgrade this staff. Yeah, it better be safe here. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing a house guest. Remember your clip. Bitch, I am so much better than you. Greetings, my name is Roderick. Isn't this place a round table hold? I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. How so though? I'm still looking. Okay, I'm just gonna skip by that since I don't care. You're the one I want. Yeah. Alright, our staff is stronger. We're ready to slap some bitches with magic. That's going to go through all this dialogue. I've read it already. If you're interested in it, then this isn't the best stream to be watching. Since I've done a lot of the stuff already in this game, and I'm just trying to find the new stuff. Oh, maybe, let's try to kill that mage, fucker. <laughs> let's, I think there's like a dude down here. Let's see if I can kill him. This might be a terrible idea. Here he is. Let's go, bitch. Aw, oh, shit. I can already tell that this is a horrible idea. Although he seems to be pretty vulnerable to my magic. Bitch, only I can use magic. Stop dodging. Holy shit, he's such a dodger. Bitch ass. Get my guy out of my face. I can dodge that too. Uh, no, I can't play online because of mods. This is an NPC that just looks like an invaded player. Oh, he fucking heals. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I absolutely do not have the damage to take this guy out right now.
I'll try again against this fucker later. That said, I want my stuff back. Crap, uh, items. Crap, I don't think I have any items that let me leave. Ah! He's still following me! Crap, I don't have any of the item that lets me go back without resetting. Ah, oh, damn. I think I'm going to have to just leave those runes there. Don't think I'll be able to get those runes back. Go this edge lord. What do you want? Okay, let's try to fight the Crucible Knight. See how that goes. <laughs> could go better, could go worse. Could be a horrible mistake. But we're gonna try. You're not playing the horn on me. I am going to run past you and do other things. All right, it's crucible night time, boys. I don't even really get anything for beating him, but I'm going to try anyway. Evergol. All right, Crucible Knight. I don't like you, and you don't like me, but we're gonna fight, and you're we're going to you're gonna have to enjoy it. All right, I do not do a lot of damage, and the fucker hides behind his shield. Ow. Stop shielding! Shield suck. Put the shield down, sir. How? Oh, I was so far away and that still hit me. Jackass. Can you 
Can you please not shield? Like, do you not take enough damage already? That has so much fucking range. Way more range than it looks like. Yeah, that's stupid move. Ah oh, shit, I'm out of healing. Well, not entirely. Oh, I forgot to set the flask to actually do anything. Yeah, okay. No. I'm not fighting that when I'm only doing chip damage. Let's try to fight Margit, see how that goes. And we'll watch the cutscene. Look at this ugly motherfucker. Oh, the sound is desynced. I think it's because I alt tabbed. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, I do. Ow. Can you not throw those daggers at me, bitch? Can you not combo me? I hate the dagger throws! Owies. Oh, please stop throwing the daggers, son. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was actually a pretty good first attempt at this, using this build. So, you know, let's just go back in, remember how to play this game, and kick his ass. Oh, I hate it when he throws the daggers. I definitely dodged that. I feel like I dodged that. You dickhead. You... Dickhead. Every time I'm about to heal or attack, he's like, nope. Here's my little blight blade dagger to just tell you to pucker off. Big oofies.
Uh, nope, I'm not going in with one less healing potion because I pressed the wrong button. Okay, if I sidestep, it looks like those don't hit me. Good to know. I fucking dodged that. Ow. I always fall for those slow attacks, man. It gives you like a year and a half to react, and I still just panic. Why was my first attempt at this my best attempt? Why does that always happen when I play these games? I like go in, I do well, and then every other attempt after that, I just start doing shit. <laughs> Oh, I keep pressing the jump button by accident. Ow, I definitely felt like I dodged that. But apparently my timing is horrible. Get that big crit hit, which isn't that impressive because I'm a mage build. Ow. Oh, I got caught on the fucking environment. Ah. I tried to roll away and I would have dodged it, but. I got caught on the little wood thing, and it stopped me from rolling away, and then I got hit by it. Alright, Margit. Why did I fucking press jump again? How am I messing up these controls so much? Heal me. I should probably do a bit more when I stun him. No, 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 no! Please dodge! Yes! Ow. You dickhead. He's catching my rolls. Stop throwing the daggers every two seconds. Please. Okay, I need to... Okay. So, I am apparently terrible at this game. It's funny, the last time I fought Margit, I was using a dual dagger build, and I killed him really quickly. Probably because I was abusing bleed a bit.
I fucking pressed the dodge button. I swear. I promise you I pressed it. You bitch. Your little light blade shenanigans. Pretty sure he's programmed to throw daggers at you when he's chugged. I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah, I need to remember that I need to dodge into him when he does that combo. Ow. Chug the flasks. That should kill. Oh, it missed. That should kill. Get fucked, Margaret. <laughs> Get fucking pebbled to death. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Okay. Let's level up. Because I'm now swimming in runes. Level 20. Let's also get my intelligence to 20. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with my stats now. I am going to take a quick water break, though. Glug, glug, glug. Ah. Oh, big stretch. I'm going to be putting them all into ints? I don't think so. Like, eventually, yeah, I'm going to have, like, 70 int. But right now, I think what I really need is survivability. Because like you, the scaling on my weapons don't doesn't get like really good until the later weapons and the later upgrades. So I really just need to pump int enough to use the spells and sorceries that I want to use. So if I ever see a sorcery that requires a ton of int, then I probably would start pumping int up to that point, and then I would stop pumping it and then put points into mind and health. I'm pretty sure the main stats I'm going to be focusing on are Mind, Health, and Int, with maybe a little bit of Dexterity thrown in there for Casting Speed. Okay. I think my next order of business is to get myself a Magic Int Scaling Sword. Int sword. I N T. Not I N T C subtitles. Thank you. No defense, only damage. Sorry, I need to get vigor. Vigor. Sore. Canadian. I am Canadian. 
Why is it is the way I said sorry weird? Bitch. Bitch. How dare you insult me like that? Canadians say some words funny. I say sorry normally. I sometimes say sorry, I think. Sorry. What's like how do you pronounce it, bitch? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry? That sounds so fucking wrong. Sorry? Fucking... No. That can't be it. I refuse. Time to Google this shit. Sorry. Sorry. That's how you pronounce it. Sorry. Sorry. I guess I do say sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I pronounce it differently. You got a problem with my Canadianness? I'll have you know we have a country that uh, has free health care. And uh, a lot of other things. <laughs> So, yeah. And yeah, exactly, exactly. So like, clearly I'm just superior in every possible way. Our money is color coded. Oh my gosh, Fire Ninja, are you Canadian too? You spelled color with a U. That means you're Canadian. <laughs> Quite. Where are you located? If you don't mind saying. I'm in Toronto, personally. Yeah, we put a U in color. Middle of nowhere, British Columbia. Ah, dang. If you were somewhere in Toronto, I would have been like, let's meet up and play video games or something. That's not the only thing we spell weird. The way you spell donuts is fucked up. What the fuck is a doughnut? Like, what the hell is that? Clean, concise, just donut. dough nut yeah i get that it's like dough and nut but like that's just such a mouthful it's just so many letters like donut is just so quick and concise donut d-o-n-u-t that's how it should be I never knew how about the American spelling. Yeah, it's fucking weird, isn't it, man? Like, what the hell? I'm, I'm going to look up more words that... The thing is, it's not even consistent. Do they spell it donut? Like, D-O-U-N-T? A little bit in America, too? Oh, they spell it both ways. Okay. What's... I could go for some fucking donuts now. I think my favorite donut chain is probably Krispy Kreme. But there isn't really a Krispy Kreme near me. Uh, I can travel to one pretty easily in Toronto, but I'd have to take the subway.
So whenever I happen to be close to a Krispy Kreme, I usually get like a pack of 12 just because they're so damn good. There's probably some better donuts than Krispy Kreme in my city. Uh, like some home bakery stuff. But Krispy Kreme is probably the best chain. But I need to probably look into some of like the the family run stuff that probably makes some really fucking bomber donuts. I don't mind Tim Hortons donuts much either. They used to be better. They're a little bit more uh, not as fresh these days, but they're still pretty decent. But they don't they can't compare to Krispy Kreme. But Tim Hortons is like right down the street from me. So if I want a quick donut, that's probably my best option. Timmy Horty <laughs> I like Timmy's a little bit. I haven't been there in a long time, though. There's just better options, usually. They used to be, like, amazing, though. But now I think... I'm not a coffee drinker, though, so that might be why I don't care much about Tim Hortons. The road in front of it was closed, so you weren't able to get it? Aw, oh, that's sad. Tim's does good in a pinch. Never really like their actual food, though. Their sandwiches are okay. They're like the I'm the most average sandwich. But like they're pretty good if you're hungry. But like I right now where I live, I have like a Wendy's right across the street from me. I have a Five Guys down the street. There's a Taco Bell, Popeyes, uh a Chipotle, a Barberito, uh Blaze Pizza. So, like, I've got way better options for food than fucking Tim Hortons. And that does sound very annoying, holy Mike. There's a few restaurants near me that I can walk to. Yeah, same. Unfortunately, uh, this is just a temporary location that I'm living right now. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be moving to an area that's a bit farther away from places. But about a 20-minute walk or so, just like, it's not so not far. If I got a bike, that would be like a 10-minute bike ride. Uh, I would be able to get to uh, a lot of different restaurants in the new place that I'm going to be moving to in a year. Like, uh, there's a Firehouse Subs, there's a all-you-can-eat sushi place, there's an Italian place, there's a Wendy's there, too, there's a Five Guys there, there too, there's an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet there. But it's like a 20-minute walk. Uh, but bus routes are good, so if I wanted to go to the subway, I could just hop on the bus and get to the subway, and I can pretty much get to most places in Toronto. Yeah, same. Even Toronto is pretty car dependent at times, but it does have much better infrastructure than a lot of American cities. Like it's still it's like in between. It's like not quite there, but it's better than most American places from what I hear. Like but it's nothing compared to like the Netherlands or something like that. Still, I don't mind. I like Toronto. I can just hop on the subway and I can pretty much get to where I want to go, especially with streetcars downtown. And they're adding a new subway line on the Eglinton area, which might help a lot. So we'll see. Okay, that's enough talking. Well, I can still talk, but I think it's time to get back to playing the video game. We've got a Storm Cavill Castle for March. But honestly, I think before I invade Stormvale Castle, I think I want to explore a bit. Bimeo James. I love Bimeo James.
damn, the wave is quite nice for AoE. AoE. Area of effect. You have to go speak to the giant dog? What giant dog? I don't remember that. Am I stupid? Do you mean Blade? No, but him too. Damn, these guys can just do nothing against magic. As long as I don't get too close like that. Alright, let's finish him off with my sword. You didn't realize how big it was until I started New Game Plus and stood next to him while wearing his armor? Dude, he's fucking massive. Oh, Master MRL, do you know Blade? If my captions captured that properly. I hope so. Because if you don't know him, I should probably go introduce you to him. I feel like these Colosseums were supposed to be so much more than what they actually are in the final game. Blythe. Yeah, Blythe. Something like Blythe, right? I think that's how it's pronounced. It's like it ends with a th, even though it's like got D's at the end. Can you stop perfectly dodge rolling everything I do, you bitch? Holy shit. Yeah, I know it's Welsh. Well, I didn't know it was specifically Welsh, but I knew it was like weird, like in that way. Man. They just don't get hit by magic. Or at least this spell. I think I need to get better spells to use against NPCs. Ow. Running away. It ends with a th sound. It does. I've seen it pronounced by the official like voice actor and people. Else. It's like Blythe. Like, that's how I think it's pronounced. It doesn't end with a D sound. And yes, I have seen that video. It's fucking amazing. I keep trying to jump, and I keep pressing the fucking roll button. That's what I'm trying to do. Ow, he just knocked me out of the air. You bitch ass. Come on, bitch. I'm ready for you. Bitch. He just... I love the one he just... Which one was the one that he straight up to refuse to read? Because, like, honestly, I didn't read the whole thing. I didn't watch the whole thing. Whoops. I didn't mean to use both of my potions there. It's great. Let me go find it. Oh, no. Am I going to regret this?
<laughs> it's very... Okay, uh, I think that's okay if you just type it in chat. I won't read it out loud, though. I need to turn my light on. It's getting dark out. Uh, I'm planning to go see a movie tomorrow as well. Who here has seen everything, everywhere, all at once? I don't think he read it at all. I do remember him asking what a dating sim is. All right, yeah. I can completely understand why he wouldn't read that one. I remember him saying that there's money to be made in a dating sim, though. I think somebody made a really cute animation of his that video as well, and it was a really funny one, too. I do like how chill he was about it. <laughs> I think that's the funniest part about it, is that he just, he obviously was just having a good laugh with him. Okay, I don't want the wave here. I want the pedal. Your horsey go bye-bye. And I watch as his shield negates like all my pebbles. How sad. I'm still doing chip damage, I guess. Look at how pathetic the damage on my sword is. I'm gonna need a better sword for damn sure. Golden Vow. I have a feeling whenever someone gets a roll like that, they get told in advance. Yo, there's gonna be a lot of fucking weirdos out there, just letting you know. That's really fucking funny, though. How about my... What, you mean, like, the character I'm playing as right now? Or, like... Oh, you're just talking about in general. They're gonna... If the, you're just continuing the conversation. I thought... Okay, I understand now. I thought you were talking about me specifically for some reason. One second. Well, probably you too. Hey, hey, you better not, you better not be thinking things about my Sono over here, okay? Okay. I'm just, I'm just a pure little Noivern, okay? Yeah, I meant the 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 the, the, the captions didn't quite pick that up properly. I'll just type in what I said here. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> my son. Do not think about my son like that. <laughs> yeah, I was I would be confused too. <laughs> Never talk to me or my son ever again. No, I don't think I'm ever going to be a father. Ace life.
But who knows? Life has weird ways of surprising you, you know? We can't always rule things out, even if we think they're guaranteed. That said, I'm pretty damn sure. Oh no, I'm out of juice. Holy crap, this dog has a lot of health. You'll change your mind, everyone's mom. Oh my gosh, you... I've lived that shit life. Okay, without my magic, I feel like I don't want to be here. So I'm just going to run and try to get stuff. I'm just, don't mind me, I'm just raiding and pillaging. Don't attack me, don't attack me. Just getting this stuff and leave, leaving. Bye, 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 bye. Running, running, running. Do not bite me. Same. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that my bro's not too interested either. Yeah, if the subtitles are ever confusing, just let me know, and I can just type into the chat what I was trying to say. Oh, hey. We found a catacomb. Wait, can I level up right now? You know, instead of leveling up, it might be good to buy some incantations. Not incantations. Uh, buy some sorceries after this. So tell me. Tell you what. Uh, I never bring it up. I never talk about it. Why would they know? Like, what could I have done to reveal it? I don't really talk about that stuff very much in IRL. Neither do I. I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if my brother knew. I just assume that he doesn't. But there's a good chance that he might know. I I do hide it a little bit. Also, I'm just not, like, comfortable with that shit, you know? Like, it's not something that, like, I don't think my family would care. But I don't want to have to explain that shit. <gasps> Someone's raiding me? Hello! Hello, people from Sunwolf. How are you all doing today? Damn. That's quite the raid. How is everybody? Poggers. Poggers. We're playing Elden Ring with cursed mods. Then we have subtitles enabled. And sometimes they get my words wrong. Locked by some contraption. Oh yeah, all catacombs are like this. What am I talking about? I should make it pretty clear that this is not my first playthrough of this game. So if you're expecting the fresh playthrough, then you're not going to get it here. And yes, thank you. I've noticed the raid. What were you streaming? Okay, my sword is ass right now. <laughs> I need to avoid using it, probably. 
Woo. Dino fun with Isle? I've never heard of that. What the fuck hit me? Did somebody shoot something at me? Oh, bitch ass skeletons. Bitch ass skeletons. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of juice. Wait, what? You can play Okay, I might I'm, I might need to be interested in this game. I need to remember that I need to hit skeletons again for them to actually die. Please don't revive. One sec, I gotta kill your friend. Oh, how did I miss that? There we go. Hit you up sometime? Sure, I'll look into it. So what's it called? Is it just the aisle? Like, is that what the game's called? Or is it like, I'm, <laughs> I'll need to look into it, but like, is that what the game's called? Also, uh, anyone else from the raid here? How y'all doing? Haven't really seen anyone else uh, screaming raid. I'm definitely going to need to get a better sword, though. Eventually, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to have to use an exorbitant amount of flasks otherwise. I need a sword that scales with in pretty bad. Owies. Can someone tell me why, how it's possible that I'm covered in blood right now when I've just been killing skeletons that have no blood? You know, just a couple of arrows sticking out of me. It's just a flesh wound. I honestly don't really know why I'm exploring this catacomb. I'm not really... Ca oh, the catacombs can have more than just spirit stuff in them. So it's always good to explore them. Blood is made in the bone marrow. Yeah, but just because it's made there doesn't mean it's actually there. This is a pretty basic catacomb. Not that I'm complaining. Why is that Black Knife Assassin starting off with lower health? And why can he do absolutely nothing against me just spamming pebbles at his face? Well, now I can't spam pebbles at him, so now I have to engage. Bitch! His BKAs are annoying, and from didn't want people quitting 20 minutes into the game. Hey, bro, you want to do something? 
Ow. Honestly, he does like no damage. He's like not a threat. You get fucked. What the fuck? Hello, raiders. <laughs> Even more people. Oh, copy that message, chat. I forgot. Hello, people. We're playing Belden Bing with a mod. Hello, all. How are you all today? Hello, Rad Bute. Hello, Ryonku Chikisa. I can't pronounce your name. Hello, Zyboy. Smeldening. A for a change mod. Yep. Just a note, I did not make it. Utterly Vaddy. Thank you for joining in. How are you all today? How's the game? It's good. Well, I've played this game before. This is a second playthrough. Just thought I would play this mod on stream because, well, you know, reasons, reasons that are visible on the screen right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Psychonauts 2 is one of the best games I've ever played. Is it only this armor set? Uh, to be fair, right now I actually have, uh, like, this helmet is what is causing the mod to get replaced. And the other armor actually isn't modded. But if I were to equip the rest of the Night Helm, it would basically be invisible. But one, uh, buying the rest of the armor set is annoying. And two, I actually kind of really like how this mod looks with the clothes. <laughs> so I'll just keep that. Uh, yes, Radboot, I am the maker of that skin. That is me, I will admit. I do Risk of Rain 2. I do play Risk of Rain 2 a lot on stream, but right now I have a schedule set up where I'm not going to be playing it for quite a little while because I'm probably going to be playing this. And on Thursday, we might be playing a different game that's coming out on Thursday. There's like this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles beat em up game that's coming out where you can play a Splinter. And I want to. I want to play that on Thursday. <laughs> sure, hit me up. What's what's the question you've got? Yeah, I can agree with that, uh, Rad. It clips a little bit on the legs, but it overall looks good. If, if you just, like, don't look at that. And I'll be changing the armor set to improve as I move along. Would it be easy to change an in-game item model to another one you want to make? Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea. I have only have experience with adding character skins. I have no idea about replacing models. In theory, I don't think it would be too hard, but I just don't know. You might have to go to the modding Discord and ask some people there how hard it would be. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any like uh, template for that. Which means if you wanted to do that, you would likely need to set up some code. I want to go back to the Sight of Grace here. How familiar are you all with Elden Ring? Uh, what am I leveling up here? Actually, no, I'm not going to level up anything. I'm going to buy some sorceries. Beat it? Yeah, good shit. I'm 113 hours familiar. Bitch, I'm 120 hours familiar. 200 hours. Damn, man. There you are. Shall we commence the okay, what are we buying here? Uh, I think Carry On Slicer is pretty good, right? I never played Elden Ring, but I want to. It's, it's really good. You definitely need to play it. I want to. I definitely want to buy some of these sorceries. I just don't know which ones are good. Maybe this one's good. If I got this one, I would need to level up my int two more points. There's big, <laughs> yes, yeah, but holy, you know, he doesn't. 
He doesn't have a tail. That's like the biggest sin, you know? So sad. If he had one, he'd be amazing. I haven't 100 percent of this game yet, but to be fair, the ones that I'm missing are like, get all talismans, or get all... Actually, no, I got all the legendary weapons. I got all the talismans. Which, I think I'm achieving... I'm missing just the ending achievements. I feel like they made the achievements pretty realistic in this. They don't ask you to do things. Look, fan art already adds it quite a bit, so I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> No, I'm sold. Here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, I guess it's time we introduce the people who aren't familiar with Elden Ring to him. Give me a moment. Let's go. We'll do that. But first, what sorceries do I buy? Uh, Maybe Glintstone Stars? I think Glintstone Stars would probably be better against the NPC Pursuers than Glintstone Pebble. You gotta go to work. Have a fun degenerate experience. I will. Thank you so much for the raid. Flanax? Yeah, I was thinking that this one looked good. Yeah, Slicer I think is good too. I think I need a... And it's only 4 FP cost. Until I get a Int Scaling Sword, I think something like this is really important. So I'm going to get this and this. I'm going to get the two carry-on things. And then we'll level up my Int 2 points to use it. Okay, so we need to level up Int twice. Memorize spell. I'm also going to need to get some memory stones. Ooh, that sounds really useful. Okay, let's introduce... Uh, I can't remember where all the memory stones are. I think they're usually in those towers, though. So I'll just need to keep an eye out on the map for those towers, and I should be able to get myself some healthy memory stones. Oh, I know there's one over here that I can grab really easily once I find the teleporter that goes that sends me to the depths of Kaled. Uh, what else? Hmm. Where was I gonna go? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Blade. We need to show him off to the people who <laughs> who haven't played this game. I'm just having a minor lapse of judgment. Don't mind me. Did I just I just warped to the exact same fucking place I was just at? The hell is wrong with me? Okay, I think he's like here, right? Is there a way to get down from here? Yes, there is. Right here. What? Oh, it's the big flower. Fuck the big flower. So first I need to find him. Then I need to talk to the shop maker to get the snap emote. Well, I'm here. Let's just sneak in here and grab some items. It's okay. It's okay. We don't care about no bears. We're just chilling. I don't think I'm ever going to use that axe talisman. I think the only problem with using this mod is that I can't play online, which means I don't get player messages. Oh fuck, bear woke up, bear woke up, bear woke up. <laughs> oh yeah, the only reason I was able to jump off that cliff is because of that wind turbine there that slowed my fall. Anyway, up there. That's a uh, blade right there. So we're going to have to go somewhere else to get him to come down now that we've seen him. So let's go do that. The good boy. Yep. 
Playing offline protects you from the RCE exploit that I don't know if I'm ever fixed. What's what's the RCE exploit? I don't think I've ever heard of that. But then again, I haven't really been paying attention to this game very much. Remote code? What? That's a thing? Holy shit, that would be so awful. That would be actually horrible. Why is he surprised? The howl of a wolf. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Next time you hear the wolf's howl, oh, don't fret. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they fixed that for Elden Ring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure past games aren't fixed, but Elden Ring is fixed. At least, I think. I do like that they added M NPCs on the map. That wasn't a thing when I was playing the first time. Bitch Santa Claus. <laughs> Very accurate. Classic FromSoft not caring about the PC port. Yeah, that's just typical. But to be fair, the PC port let me be pro, so I don't think we can complain. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't realize that you can jump into those wind streams and slow your downfall it literally says that you can in the tutorial but it's such an easy thing to just read past and not absorb all right let's say hi to the good boy oh first things first chest Ooh, a smithing stone too that's quite nice Where is the snap emote? Here it is. All right, I think I got that att his attention. There he is. Hello, Blade. How are you doing? Look at this guy. Look at the lad. <laughs> For anyone who hasn't played this game, here's Blade. <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> Let's talk to him. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come and tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Okay. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor and in need of a fitting end to his tale. And that's Blade. So uh, he's a pretty important NPC in this game, so you actually see him quite a lot. Uh, but this is his initial quest chain, which I think we just have to go kill the guy in the the thing down here, right? I think he'll actually join me as an NPC now that I've talked to him before I fought this guy, right? I think that's how this quest works. I've never actually done this initial part of Blade's quest. Oh, <laughs> gee, doggy. <laughs> It's the voice that's so perfect as well, just as a note. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Yeah, I know that you like to pretend that, but we can actually check, and you can see that the answer is no, he does not have, have one. I'm really sorry <laughs> that I had to ruin that for you. But yes, it is a good thought, and it's a good way to pretend. You didn't meet him until later? Yeah. No, I met him here. I just 
I think I killed Darwil first before I found him. He has such a nice voice, yeah. Okay, so, uh, holy mic, tell him about the video. <laughs> His voice actor is, it, it's hilarious. You should share it with him, it's funny as fuck. I think I am going to go to that Evergall now. I think I should be able to kill Darawil. Oh shit. I'm okay. He legit can solo Darawil? Sweet. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let's get some free stuff. So I think that'll be my next location then. Let's do this. And then maybe we look at the southern area. There might be some stuff that I could find there. He's a big, strong boy. Too bad he can't solo... Uh, Raw Dragon. Not Raw Dragon. Uh, fuck, I forgot his name. The other time you could summon him as his NPC summon. How did I forget his name? The big guy on the tiny horse. What? Radon. Radon, yes. I knew it started with an R. I don't know why I was thinking Raw Dragon. Raw dragon. So do I just like enter here and he'll summit and he'll be here now? Or do I have to like f re see him and then go tell Blythe that he was here? I guess I'll just enter and see what happens. Oh, well, there he is. Let's have the big boy fight beside me. Just as a note, I am not going to be summoning very often. In a cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. So this is not something that I'm going to be doing very frequently. Blade, you need to be doing a better job of hitting him. <laughs> so that I could just spam this at him. Hell yeah, this is gaming. <laughs> Blade, what are you fucking doing? Thank you. There we go. <laughs> that video, yeah. Blade needs to work on his depth perception. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just felt like I did most of the work there for a bit. <laughs> right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Ooh, that's a nice prize for this early in the game. Oh, yes. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you, and he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. Oh, my gosh. That's how you can get past the seal on that building a little bit easier? Damn, okay. You ever seen a... You did? That's hilarious. Can my prize be you? Can it be you? Oh, that's fucking funny, man. Also, I hate to be that guy. I really do. But if you really are enjoying the content of that you are seeing on your screen right now, be sure to hit me up with that dank-ass follow. 
because I am I am cool enough to chill and not be hated for it. I promise. I promise. I, I promise. <laughs> Hey, hey, Fire Ninja, thanks. Really appreciate it. Fire Ninja. Unfortunately, I can't see any of the messages here because I am offline. That is a sad state of affairs. Hey, hey Rad, thanks for follow. Really appreciate it. Sorry, I don't have any like stream notifications. Uh, I don't personally see too much of a point in them, but I understand that some people do like them. I only placed down a few messages, none of the morning. Aw, oh, that's sad. Still can't level up. Probably want to get my intelligence to 22. Oh, wait, I could probably level up if I use these. Are you winning, son? Oh, hello, bok choy with soy. How are you today? And yes, I can. I am winning. At least I think I'm winning. We're going on a jolly bit of murder. Pro never loses. Jump straight onto those mods, I see. You bet. Do you like the mod? I currently have him wearing clothes because I actually really like the aesthetic. And of course, we've got the goods. Uh, it was Blaze. Oh no, did you not see Blaze? Oh, I gotta go back and show you now. Sorry, if the closed captions aren't working too well, uh, let it know that. Here, let's see if he's still standing around there, or if he left. If he's still standing around there, then you need to see him. Damn, I think he left. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Uh, just Google him, Master. I think you like him a lot. Man, he booked it, yeah. <laughs> he saw a squirrel and had to chase it. You know, I'll buy that logic. How did that miss? Alright. We got him, though. Uh, I think there's a chest here that kind of, like, just yeets me to another universe. That's a thing, right? There's a chest here that yeets me to Kaelid. Oh, fuck. Help me. 
Rats kicking my no, no. Did you know those giant mosquito things can fall to death? What? 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 Why? That's kind of funny though. Oh no, the dogs are back. I thought they were rats. Yeah, I think I thought they were rats at first too, but it looks like they're dogs. Ironic, it can save others from gravity, but not themselves. Oh, what a sad story. Now I'm pretty sure... Okay, these are rats. Ow, ow. Please stop, rats. Hey, rats, rats, did I say that this is okay? Did I consent to this ass kicking? Please stop. My friend, I swear, he spams that fucking song so much to me because it goes like, rats, rats, Michael, it's your birthday today. And like, quick spoiler alert, my actual name is Michael. <laughs> it's just like, fuck, it pisses me off. <laughs> Yo, same. Gee, I wonder if that's why your name is Holy Mike B. I find it hilarious that I could legitimately say, oh, my name is this. And because first names are so common, that that legitimately tells you fucking nothing about me. <laughs> like, straight up. <laughs> How often is it your birthday? Apparently all the time. No, but really, it was May 26th, so it just happened. Is this what you're talking about? Oh, can you honestly, I don't know how you how I feel about you just linking E621 in my chat. Actually, no. Is that like can someone confirm if that's like safe for work or not? Oh, it's not. Okay, that's fine then. I guess. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, nah. Okay, I won't. I won't. I will not. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit too far for me. Uh, you could just, like, DM that maybe, or, like, whisper those kind of things in the future. Like, I'm, it's fine right now, but, like, in the future, use whisper it or something. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not cutting caught in that. I don't really feel like getting sent to Kaelid right now. <laughs> But maybe I should get yeeted over there. I don't want to go to Florida. No. I think one of my favorite quality of life things that they added to this game compared to Dark Souls is... Uh, the enemies flashing when they drop an item when they die. That is the fucking smartest thing they have ever created. It's just such a nice little quality of life change.
Doggo, please calm down. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a big-ass dragon here. Right there. If I go into that center of there, that's where the dragon will spawn. And to be honest, I could probably kill it, but I don't think I want to. I must kill my own people. Bats. The wagon. I think I'm probably going to be streaming an extra hour or so today, since today's been popping off stream-wise. A lot of people stopping by. I really appreciate you all. So I'm probably going to go for an extra hour tonight. Go to midnight. Depends on how many people are here. Why oh, send dragon? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so I'll explain it a bit better. So I'll, I'll make sure the captions pick it up properly, too. So there's a chest that if you stand in front of it and open it, it teleports you like halfway across the map to an area called Kaled. And that area is so like dead and corrupted that a lot of people started to make the joke that it was Florida. So <laughs> they're making jokes that I'm getting sent to Florida. Okay, I think the captions picked that up well. Except for that last one. <laughs> Tiles rain and old people. Sounds like Florida to me. No, you see, you've got... Uh, Florida also has tourist traps. And... Uh, COVID. <laughs> what the fuck, subtitles? You got COVID right the first time, and then you changed it to Ovid? You don't know the term tourist traps? A tourist trap is like a place that attracts tourists, but is really nothing special, like at all. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a tour tourist trap. Like a lot of people go to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and you just get like a field of people standing there holding like doing the pose to hold it up with the picture and it's just like it's just it's nothing special. All you're going to get is a huge crowd and then they just overcharge up the ass for anything in the area just because it's popular. Sorry, not overtired, like the subtitles picked up. Overcharge. Yes, there we go. But yeah, uh, generally speaking, like Niagara Falls is also a bit of a tourist trap. and I But I go there all the time because I'm like really close to it. So it's not like tourist traps can't be fun. They're just... Well, a thing. If you were in Florida, then would you visit my home? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Nothing about visiting random people's homes, even if I know you from online. Like, I wouldn't visit a lot of people's homes online. That's not like a thing against you. Oh, so you live in Florida then, Master. And it sounds like Rad lives in Florida, too. You want to go to Niagara Falls? Unironically, uh, there's a lot of tourist trappy things in Niagara Falls. Like, there's like this one place called Clifton Hill, and it's just such a scam. There's so many scammy things there. But there's also a lot of things to love about the area. And the Niagara Falls themselves are genuinely very beautiful. So, like, the Maid of the Mist is definitely an experience that's worth doing. It's like a boat that takes you right into the mist of uh, the falls, and you get fucking soaked. It's fucking cool. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know them, Master.
them, not the. You've seen Bruce Almighty, so you're familiar with it? Okay. There's a really cool arcade on Clifton Hill that's a lot of fun. Me and my brother went there for my birthday a bit, and it was fun. There's like some VR games. There's some, like they've got the DDR machine. They've got all the light gun games. Arcades are a bit more lame these days compared to they were in the past. No fighting games, unfortunately. I'd love to see an arcade that has all the fighting games and stuff. That'd be really cool. But I, they're, they're mostly in Japan, and I think they're dying a bit there too. Oh, oh yeah, I know them. I know Sonic Fox. Sorry, the A in the middle messed me up. I find him a little annoying sometimes. Yeah, he did, didn't he? That was funny. Yeah, no, I know Sonic Fox. Sorry, I thought you, the A, I thought you were referring to someone else. All right, let's get back to the gaming. Challenge Godric the Graf, decrepit, he worse yet so. You met before, but you never talked to him? Ah, I see. I think he's cool, but at the same time, I find him a little annoying sometimes. But that's not, like, against him. That's just... I just think he's a little annoying. I think... I, I really have mad respect for both his skill and everything, though. Uh, yeah, I think he was. He's, I think he, ha he took it off for finals, but he did have it on for some matches legitimately. But he definitely took it off, like, for finals to focus. He seems like a genuinely nice dude. I just find him annoying online. I probably wouldn't find him annoying in real life, though. I think he plays up a persona a bit when he's online. I think a lot of people do that, though. Where to next, boys? I can go up this river. I think there's a cave there. Actually, you know what? I think it is time we fight that dragon. That's not what I said, holy Mike. That's not what I said. I never understand those apps, but then again, that might be that might be because I just don't care for those kind of things. But like dating apps, all that stuff, that's just not my thing. Like at all. All right, dragon time though. That doesn't mean you can't talk about it. I just can't really relate to it. There's a lot of things that I can't really relate to, to be honest. Too scared to use a dating app? I'm the complete opposite spectrum, where I'm just not interested. He's really overt. Yeah. Yeah, that's partially the reason why I find him a little bit annoying, but at the same time, I respect him. It's like, man, you're kind of annoying, but I still respect what you're doing, or something like that kind of thing. All right, dragon. Let's do this thing. Hello, friend. Okay, we're doing good damage. 
Except we're stepping into the poison area. Let's not do that. Yeah, I know. The dragons in this game are pretty attractive. They're really cool looking. Yeah, I remember being able to kill this guy pretty easily, too, the first time I played. That doesn't mean I, sh I, I can be cocky, though, as you just saw there. Ow! How I can't believe that's... That was like a little poultry flame like the smallest flame and it still hit me okay where are my runes though where are my runes at let's pick those up first oh they're over there okay I'm just going to run the fuck away this time. No more risks. Okay, I need to get a little closer, though. Oh, shit. I do be needing to get a little closer. How did none of those hit? Okay, one of them hit. The fire hitbox have always been a little wonky, yeah. That's kind of the magic of Elden Ring, though, Mike, is the fact that something this major can just be missed like that. Like, it wouldn't be as special if you couldn't miss it. You know what I mean? And that's, I think, something that Elden Ring does expertly well. You would have liked to have missed God Skin Duo. <laughs> no, you have to suffer. Like the rest of us. Don't think I have enough juice to kill him with just magic. It didn't take me very long to fell Godskin Duo either, but I think I had a build that was really well suited to uh, just kiting him the fuck out. Them the heck out, I mean. Magic seems quite effective against the dragons. Not having to get close to them is a huge boon. And the fact that most of my magic is hitting him right in the dome means I'm getting good damage. Okay, but I gotta switch to my sword now and finish him off with it. At least we get some close-up shots of this beautiful thing. Wait, wait, I gotta look at it before he dies. Ah. FromSoft is the only dev team that'll make a game where you can easily miss like 80% of the content. To be fair, Nintendo did a really good job in Breath of the Wild. There's a lot of stuff that you can miss in Breath of the Wild. And I'm hoping Breath of the Wild 2 is the same like that. You ever play Dragon's Dogma? I have not, but I, have, I do own it. Like it's on my Steam account, but I've never played it. So, uh, I have always had the intention of playing it someday. I just never really got around to it. I think I got it from a Capcom bundle one time. 
some kind of bundle because I don't remember ever buying it by itself. Look, I have a question. Are there any mods that let me play as a character with a certain feature? Because if yes, I absolutely will play it on stream. If no, then maybe I could play it on Sunday during my variety day. Probably let me go look. Okay, do so. Do definitely go look. Because if there is a mod like that that exists, I am so going to I would so play it on stream. That would be a lot of fun actually, because that's my first time playing that game. And I've heard really good things about it. And I have Dark Arisen on Steam, so I have the most updated version. Please let me know if you find anything though. Let's see, where to next? I guess I could check out this. It might be good to go to the Raya, the Raya Academy. There's probably some stuff there that will scale off intelligence. Because I think that's the big thing that I need right now, is I need some kind of sword that scales off intelligence. I know the Sword of Black and Knight is in there some, somewhere. Raya Lucario, <laughs> pretty much. So actually, honest question, uh, just because I'm going to go see the movie tomorrow, has anyone here seen everything, everywhere, all at once? I'm planning to go see it tomorrow. So I'm a little curious what people think of it here, if any one of you have seen it here. Nope. Dang. I've heard really good things about it. Like, really good things. Uh, I think I'm going to go check out the southern area. Let's do that. Or, no, wait. I can probably do this now. There's also the Sea for the Sea for a River. Oh, yes. I've seen it. It's a really good movie. I watched it with my family, and it's really emotional. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to go see it tomorrow, I think. It's really freaky in the best way. You want to see mage hats modded into Lucario's? Uh, isn't that one hat that Lucario wears in that movie kind of like a mage hat already? Why is the caption saying had instead of hat? You could just keep that in DMs. I don't think anyone really cares, Master. Like, no offense and everything. It's just like, eh. If anyone cares, they can ask you for it. It rolls with it? Interesting. Oh, those would be kind of fun. That would be kind of funny. Those masks are weird. Let's go here, and we'll check out that... We'll do that... Uh fort over there. I think that fort is important. Not forward captions, fort. It's well, that's no shocker to me. <laughs> That is absolutely not a shock to me. So was so there was just nothing, no nothing good. That game's been out for ten years, man. Why haven't why hasn't the community gotten on that shit yet? Clearly, we need to find someone who's capable of modding that game and pay them.
pay them some damn good money. It's the same way that I really want to pay someone, or not pay, maybe uh, get like a fund together or something. Find someone who's really good at modding Monster Hunter Rise and get like a uh, Mizutsune Hunter skin in the game or something like that, or a Nargakuga Hunter skin. Like, that would be fucking so cool, and I would be so addicted to Rise if someone did that. Hey guys, look. It's a dog. Everybody, look at the dog. Isn't it cute? It's a cute dog. Should we pet the dog? No, master, it's a dog. Get it right. <laughs> get, get it right. <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> it's, a, it's an Elden Ring meme. A lot of people leave messages in front of turtles going, it's a dog, as a joke. <laughs> No, it's not in disguise. It's just a funny joke. You really liked the Nagakuga one? You see, I want a full-on anthropomorphic Nagakuga playable. In, El in Monster Hunter Rise. That's what I want. Yeah, if you can't write turtles, some people just put dog. I love the limited messages system. It's so funny. It reminds me of that one time in uh, Dark Souls 2. It's like this Dark Souls 2 image, and they just posted. It was there's this giant ass dragon, and the message just says "horse." <laughs> it's it's so, it's so stupid, but it's so funny. You left a message that said "visions of destruction" facing the tree while T posing. Oh gosh, T pose on them to assert dominance. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Holy shit. I just got my ass rocked and I'm still alive. This is why you build vigor, friends. If you don't build vigor, you die. Oh shit. I'm still gonna die. I agree. Never played Elden Ring, Dark Souls, or Dark Souls Devs Adventures games before? You're missing out, man. These games are fucking amazing. They're fucking celebrated for a reason. Alright. Oh no, it's Pumpkinhead. 20, you're really not a fan of Dark Souls, but you're a fan of Elden Ring? Just not for you? I fucking love Dark Souls. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think 3 is the best Dark Souls game. That said, I will admit that Dark Souls 1 has better level design. Sorry, I'll check messages after I kill this pumpkin. There, he's dead, okay. Games are too expensive. Dark Souls goes on sale for like $10 all the time. Uh, no, holy...
Most people consider Dark Souls 1 to be the best one. Mostly because Dark Souls 3 level design is a little bit linear. Like, it still has branching paths and stuff, but it definitely doesn't have the same kind of structure that Dark Souls 1 does, which is a much more interconnected Metroidvania-esque level design. But I found Dark Souls 1 combat to be extraordinarily simplistic compared to the later games. Dark Souls. DS is short for Dark Souls. Bloodborne. Bloodborne is absolutely one of their best games. Like, holy shit, I am also a Bloodborne stan. To be fair, I might be biased because Bloodborne was the first one that I've ever played. Bloodborne is phenomenal. But yeah, uh, I found Dark Souls to be very... Like, Dark Souls 1, the combat is extraordinarily basic. And well, the, the combat isn't the same... is pretty much the same as, like, Dark Souls 3, kind of. But it's just that the enemy design is much, like, less aggressive. I, could get, I got through the entirety of Dark Souls 1 basically just by holding my shield. And um, the only boss that... Sorry, I need to make sure I don't get my ass kicked by this guy. I got my ass kicked by this guy. Fuck me. Fuck me. Dodge rolling. I, I just like... Like, the only boss that killed me multiple times in Dark Souls 1 was the Bell Gargoyles. Because there's two of them. Every other boss I beat on, like, my first or second try. Even uh, Ornstein and whatever the fuck his name is. The Dragon Slayer bitches. I killed them on my first try. Like, they just weren't a threat to me. I just held up my shield and they could do fuck all to me. Once you have the experience of, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 under your belt, Dark Souls 1 just is not a threat. Dark Souls 2 kicked my ass quite a bit, but I think that's because I was stubborn and I didn't use a shield in Dark Souls 2. But And it kicked my fucking ass so hard. I actually like Dark Souls 2 more than Dark Souls 1. I know. Fucking murder me. I like Dark Souls 2 more than Dark Souls 1. I am a contrarian. Okay, Bed of Chaos, I'm pretty damn sure I died on. <laughs> but that's a gimmick boss. I don't count Bed of Chaos. Who fucking cares about Bed of Chaos? <laughs> blasphemy i just like dark souls 2 the way it approached stuff i could definitely agree that dark souls 2 has some fucking wacky ass game design but i think it's the dlc that really sold me on dark souls 2 there's a lot to like about the dlc in that All right, let's go get my souls and not die horrible this time. Also, yeah, I played them in reverse order. Like, the order that I played the games in was... Uh, Dark, I played Dark Souls... I played Bloodborne first, then I played Dark Souls 3, then I played Dark Souls 2, and then I played Dark Souls 1. And then I played Sekiro after that. Even that one snowy plane that a million deers... No. No, that part sucks. That part's fucking awful. I, I honestly just, like, I did it a few times. Got to the double wolf boss at the end. Died to the double wolf boss a couple times. And was just like, fuck this. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna go back to the fun part of the DLC. To be honest, I never... I really need to go back and play Dark Souls 1 again. Because I don't think I ever played the DLC in Dark Souls 1. And I'm probably missing out on quite a bit by not doing that. They're all expensive? Yeah, but they go on sale really frequently. Like, for the most part, you can pretty much pick them up for 10, 20 bucks on average. Just wait for a sale. 
definitely start with Dark Souls 1, though. I feel like I would have appreciated Dark Souls 1 more if I wasn't used to the aggressive enemies from past games. From future games, I mean. Like, if you play Elden Ring and then you go back to Dark Souls, like, it's a joke. Dark Souls 1's a joke compared to this game and other games. Start. I think the Summer Sale starts in June, like, 20-something. So, yeah, it should be soon. I wonder when Elden Ring is going to get DLC. I'm wondering if it will, because Sekiro never got DLC. Isn't, I'm pretty sure there's a mod that makes the port better. It's sad that you've got to mod the game to make the port better. But, like, if they're not going to give us the shit, then you might as well make it yourself. Also, isn't the original Dark Souls 1 just not on Steam anymore? Because I, I didn't play Remastered. I played the original with a mod. Yes, DS Fix. That's the mod that I'm thinking of. And it made it very nice. Like, if, without that, it probably would have been horrible. Good shot of the goods when climbing ladder. <laughs> I think this is like the half of the medallion, right? Yes. Alright, I don't think there's anything else here worth getting, is there? Well, I guess I might as well grab that item down there. But yes, DS Fix is definitely the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, that was worth going for. Got a smithy stone one. You don't really have much desire to play any of them. They are really good. Like, Dark Souls 1 has pretty simplistic combat in comparison to the later games. But its level design really is some of the best in the series. In the way that it's interconnected. I definitely think Elden Ring tops all of the Dark Souls games. This game's just a masterpiece. But, like, they're all very, very good. And honestly, Dark Souls 3 probably has some of the best DLC in the game, in the series. The Ringed City was just incredible. I absolutely loved that area. But yeah, I understand. I think you'd like Bloodborne a lot, though. That's fair. You, I really hope they port Bloodborne to PSC because Bloodborne legitimately is the one of the best. Like, like it does a lot of things better than Elden Ring does. Bloodborne is their, one of their was their magnum opus before Elden Ring came out, and some people would still consider Bloodborne to be their best game, even after Elden Ring. Sekiro is fantastic too, though. Sekiro is so is very different from their other games, though.
Yeah, Sekiro is very parry focused. Oh yeah, Bloodborne has some extremely fun lore. Sekiro is extremely good. I'm really interested in what FromSoft is going to be doing next. I'm almost certain that they're already working on their next project. Because FromSoft seems to release something like every three years or so. Like, Sekiro was like 2018? 2019? I think it came out in 2019. And then three years later, they shit out Elden Ring. So we're probably going to see the next... Uh, like, in 2025 is probably when we're going to see the next FromSoft game. And I'm curious as to what they'll do next. Whatever it is, it's probably going to be very different from what Elden Ring is like. They might do another Sekiro-like game where they try something new. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm fucking there for it. Surge 2? I've heard mixed things about the Surge games. Oh, I've got a lot of souls. I should probably catch those in. But first, I think I want to check this area. Two was really good. Okay, I might have to check it out sometime. I've never played them. Hey, I'm used to fucking stupid stories. I play Kingdom Hearts. I'm immune to stupid stories. I think they're working on ER after Dark Souls 3 DLC and Sekiro was a smaller project to keep the fans busy. For a smaller project, Sekiro was fucking crazy good. I wouldn't be surprised if they have two departments working on two different games. So they might already be deep into making another game already. Like for a, a team that wasn't working on Elden Ring. But if they don't have a second team, they'd probably have a second team after the sales Elden Ring got. Ah, I don't think I've ever talked to this guy. Overcome by hunger for the heart, then seek the decrepit church on the little island off the western coast. I already knew about that, but thanks. Those who partake in dragon communion, their hunger for dragon, they yearn until the floodgates burst. The strength of a mighty dragon is no surprise that dragon communion. You see, I don't really see the problem with shedding my humanity. Just saying. I really don't see the problem with that. Seems good to me. Think they're getting in the bat pattern of releasing a big fan service game and then releasing a smaller focused experimental game. Yeah, which is why I'm really interested in what their next game will be like. Because it's going to be experimental, and I honestly think some of the best things can come from being experimental. I'd love another Sekiro-like game. Like, Elden Ring's fantastic, but I don't want another Elden Ring. I want them to do something more smaller, more focused. I don't need another Elden Ring. I've already got Elden Ring. Bloodborne 2, for fuck's sake. Like, I'd take that. I don't know why I killed that crab, but I did. Exactly, Holy Mike. You understand. I'm just sort of walking around in circles right now, not really knowing where to go now. I think let's go to the south side of the map before we go storming Stormvale Castle. Maybe we'll find an intelligence weapon down there if we're lucky. Is sci-fi or magic balanced combat? That would be interesting. Whatever they do, it'll probably it'll be good. That's all I know. I think FromSoft knows what they're fucking doing with shit by this point. 
What enemy is near me? Let me open my map. Thank you. Let's go here. Not human, you mean mobile ads? Oh no. I want to go here. No, no, mobile ads are inhumane. Hey guys, have you ever heard about the hit game Rage? <laughs> no, no, I'll stop there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. Oh gosh. I just realized I have 8,000 souls and I didn't use them. But we're good. We can just go grab them. Oh, yeah. Somebody shared that. Is it actually good? I'm going to go use these runes before I lose them again. Unironically, I actually played Raid Shadow Legends. I actually played it entirely because they had a lizard man faction. And trust me, they actually had some really well designed lizard men. Like straight up, I would recommend checking the game out just to see their lizard men and not actually playing it. Don't actually play it. It's not fun. It, well, it, it is kind of fun, but it's definitely too expensive for its own good and too like it's it has all the shitty mobile prep game practices on top of a pretty okay game that could have been really good if they didn't do all the shitty mobile game practices. I think I'm going to get my mind up a little bit too. Okay, I uh seriously need to get me some I think that the shop at the round table hold Sells a memory stone. Huggable? I think they were. I downloaded Raid, played a few babbles, got the pop-up demanding I buy Micros actions, then deleted it. You see, the, the real strat is you download it for the model viewer. That's it. That's all you use it for. Use it as a model viewer. Because, and that's it. Nothing else. It is a carbon copy of Summoner's War. That I, That is a fact. Summoner's War was the first game in that genre to get really popular, I think. You did? That's interesting. Was it any good? Yeah, they do have a memory stone here. Okay, so I'm going to want that. Let's see if I can uh, use these to get it. Yeah, that should do it. It was pretty fun until you hit the grind. That's true for Raid, too. That's true for almost any mobile game. They're fun until you hit the fucking grind. And then they try to extort money from you, and it's just blech. They're not not all mobile games are shit, but most are. Well, I took you for no matter lay out your arm. Why does this guy think I'm dead every single time? I come in here. 
Make the game fun fast earlier than slap your progression into the ground and drop juicy MTXs in front of you. Yep, that's basically it. That's why I'm a little... How is the... Uh, how is Genshin Impact in that regard? The reason I'm asking is because I am somewhat interested in that Zenless Zone Zero, and I kind of want to know what kind of practices I'm getting myself into by getting interested in that. We've only got two peeves when I play mobile games and games in general, microtransactions, and over-explaining simple mechanics. That do sound that do be sounding like mobile games, though. It's typical gap of garbage. Damn. I watched my brother play some Genshin, but though, and it seems like it does have a lot of content. And yes, Master, that is the same place I fought the mage. It's like the hub world. But yeah, I watched my brother play it a bit, and it seems like it does have a decent amount of content, like just plain story-based content, that doesn't require you to get all of the gacha stuff. I never re heard of a good review from Genshin from someone who had it on their desktop. <laughs> That's fair. My brother liked it for a while, is all I'm saying. So it seems like there's a decent amount of content in there that is fun, but then it gets shit if you get to the later stuff, which is pretty typical for mobile games. But he played like a good chunk of hours into that game before it really got stale for him, so... We're just not gonna fight these guys. We're just going to keep walking. You are opposed to anything and everything anime. Damn, you the anti-weeb. <laughs> are you the one who is destined to fight against the weebs in an eternal war to stop them from spreading? Hello? Is someone type into your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the saddest servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure, but I swear I heard fright my good father, but decided himself to stay. Okay, you're gonna die, just as a reminder. The servants are full. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped. I really dislike anime and all they my friends are fucking so weebs. <laughs> you might be sad to hear that my brother is a fucking weeb. He loves the animes. <laughs> Anime progressively repelled me more and more every time some creepy lolly stuff shows up. <gasps> yeah, I don't like that shit either. Thankfully, my brother doesn't either. Like, that's not the kind of weeb stuff he likes. He mostly just likes the anime. Like, One Piece is his shit right now. And I can kind of agree with that. One Piece kind of slaps. Do not disappear. You don't get it. She just looks seven years old. She's actually a thousand. Fuck anime. <laughs> okay, the fact... <laughs> Sword Art Online is a very weird one to be into, man. <laughs> also, I can't kick him out. I have to live with him. But I love him, and, like, I have literally no problems with that, <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> Jojo is, like, <laughs> Jojo is something else, man. Jojo is, like, its own thing entirely. Let's get the map before I do anything else in this area. 
Okay, I can completely agree that JoJo fans are annoying, but JoJo is a legitimately great show and a legitimately great comic manga. So it's not like they're wrong that their show is not the hot shit, because it is pretty hot shit, but they're still annoying. <laughs> I haven't watched it, but I know that it's good. Well, I watched a bit of JoJo. I didn't, like... Like, it's hard for me to sit down and watch a show. I don't know why. It's kind of like a media blind spot for me, almost. Same, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Like, when I do watch a good show, I legitimately love it. But then, like, I just don't start them very often. Same with movies. I have a hard time sitting down and watching movies if I'm not going to a theater. And I'm not really sure why that is. Arcane got you hooked? Yeah, a lot of people are saying Arcane is good, and I haven't watched it either. I think there's a memory stone somewhere in this area. If it wasn't in combat right now, I could check. Oh, hey, a golden seed. I always kind of figured Arcane would be good. It really had a fantastic art style just from the very beginning. So I kind of expected it was going to slap. But I honestly didn't expect it to slap as hard as it did. I didn't watch it, but a lot of people, even non-League fans, just fucking love it. I thought it would be like, oh, this is going to be amazing for League fans. But no, it's apparently amazing for everybody. Yeah, that's completely fair, Fire Ninja. Apparently they did fuck with the lore a bit in Arcane. Like, it's not completely accurate to uh, League lore. But, like, who cares? <laughs> I'm not really a stickler for those kind of things. We found a hut, guys. Oh yeah, this is where the crazy people are. Anyway, where is that building that I think has the memory stone in it? I think it's... Uh, where was it? Ah, oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. That's where it is. <laughs> Riot loves themselves a good retcon. Honestly, I'm okay with them retconning it if it makes for a fantastic story. But at the same time, I completely understand people's frustrations who are trying to actually follow the League lore. Because League's lore is just a fucking mess. They have a really unique, interesting world. And they've got some great characters in there. But it's so inconsistent and it doesn't really follow itself. It feels kind of like they just want the lore to work with whatever story they're trying to currently write. And to be honest, that's fine. Like... As long as the individual story itself is amazing, I don't personally care. But it, I do understand why Pete, that would frustrate a lot of people. Hey guys, look, it's the crazy people. Let's kill all the crazies. And yeah, rec they do retcon their old characters a lot. If you're a huge fan of a character, that might end up being very disappointing, though. Oh, 
Oh, I've heard enough that the Purdy Jackson films suck dick. I don't think I need to go watch them to learn that. They went mad from seeing your browser history. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Would I go mad too? We found the crazy people church. And we found a really cool incantation, but I'm not going an incantation build, so it's worthless to me. They ignored the... I hate it when they do that. Why do so many devs of, like, movies and shows are like, yeah, fuck the source material. We're going to do our own thing. Like, that's some sort of positive fucking thing. Like, didn't the Halo show creators do the exact same shit? Where they're like, oh, we're going to do our own thing. We're going we're gonna to elevate it to another level. And it's like, fuck off. Oh yeah, I've heard Artemis Fowl is shit too, which is a shame because I actually I've actually read the first Artemis Fowl. I don't think I really understood what happened in it as I was I was a kid and I don't think I really absorbed it, but I do remember the first one being wild and really cool, and like the kid's a fucking dick, but like in the best way. Okay, what am I going to next? I think I got what I needed from that village. Oh, let me open my map! Those rats are not even chasing me. Thank you. I want to go to this side. So I think I need to follow this path here. <laughs> okay, that does sound really funny. Holy mic. Sounds like a meme ready for it. Wait, he did Harry Potter? But Harry Potter is like... Like, it's not the... Like, obviously some things were changed in order to fit with the movie. From my understanding, they're like... For the most part, faithful enough. So, like, why would the Purdy Jackson films just go completely off the deep end? That's so weird. Is it just because he preferred one over the other? Like some biasing? The Harry Potter movies were okay. They're nothing special. They're a good time. That's my opinion on them anyway. Although I'm not sure if I would have a good time with them anymore after, you, well, you know who is going around doing her shit. Yeah, that does sound pretty stupid. But yeah, I haven't. I just don't watch movies much in general. Ah, oh, my back is starting to hurt. <laughs> I think I'll head down there after I've explored up here a bit more. Oddly enough, I I irrationally liked Harry Potter as a kid, both the movies and the books. Ooh, I feel sorry for you nowadays, man. <laughs> my brother was a huge fan of them too. Oh my gosh, who can like the new Lion King movie, man? That movie just looks like an insult to animation. Oh, you hated them. Okay, you were right then. <laughs> nah, to be honest, I've watched the Harry Potter movies. It's not like Harry Potter is in, in itself bad. It's, it's an entertaining enough uh, series. And the world is pretty interesting, but I, it's just so hard to not, like, 
kind of get disgusted by it these days. They aged up the characters in the first actions and screwed up the entire plot points? Fuck. That sucks. Yeah, it feels like I dodged a bullet with her. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It sucks, too, because that new Harry Potter game actually looks like it might be legitimately really fun. But it's hard for me to get on board with it. Because of, well, everything around it. And I'm sure the dev team of that game is putting their heart and soul into the game just for it to get tainted by one person. It really, it is? Oh, that sucks even more. It's very clear that all that stuff was unintentional then. Just accidental coincidence. Man, that's fucked up. If I did play that Harry Potter game, I probably would try to get it used or some other method of playing it. Because I just don't think it's worth engaging in otherwise. <laughs> I think I need more magic. Oh, Disney is going to make an actual on-source show soon. Oh! Uh, for, I think he's talking about Percy Jackson. That might be really fucking good. That's definitely something that's worth keeping an eye on. But, uh, once again, I'm just not a show watcher. Ah, all right. So there's a catacomb that that's pointing to. Don't know where it is, but we might be able to check it out. So I want to check out... There's a bunch of buildings down here. I want to check out here, 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 and this, I guess. I can't remember if there's anything interesting at any of these locations, but might as well check. All I want is, I need an in-scaling weapon is really the biggest thing that I want to find right now. I know that there's quite a few in this game, so I know I'll stumble on one eventually. It doesn't really matter what it is. Ooh, I just got chills all of a sudden. There's some good magics in the west half of the Weeping Penicillia. That's good to note. Oh, doesn't that tower have a, a warp thing? I know I've like explored this area before, but it's been a hot minute, so I've forgotten a lot. Uh, let's fight this boss. I think I've got enough keys to open this. Um, yeah, I need only one key, so might as well. And I know that you start, you'll swim, you swim in these keys late game. Strength int or dex int? I was thinking pure int. <laughs> Just straight up pure int. But I might want to go Dex in, just because Dex is, uh, it increases spell speed. But yeah, I was mostly going to try and go as much Int as possible. Oh, it's another one of these assholes that dodge my magic. Well, if I die, I know what I'm going to do for you. I'll have to get that other magic that I forgot to equip. Yeah, in fact, I might, I'm just, I might as well just die. Like, if I don't have my magic that does that. Isn't I going to just actually put an effort to make it actually fall source material since they can wiggle things in and out of stuff? 
Yeah, that makes sense. I should have probably gone to the last site of Grace visited instead of that. Okay, so let's go find a site of Grace. Hopefully one that's close by. There should be one close by. And let's equip some new magic that will actually hit that bitch. Walking mausoleum. I don't have any remembrances that need to be duplicated right now. Probably a, a grace in here. Yep, this is a church. Churches almost always have graces. And sacred tears. Okay, let's equip that new spell and fuck this bitch up. I accidentally hit B. One more, and I maybe I... Hmm, I want the carry-on slicer as well. I'm not really much of a book reader. Maybe I should be, though. <laughs> uh, if I was a book reader, though, yeah, I definitely would. How fucking bitch just accidentally dodged them all. Oh, I accidentally casted it twice. Okay. Oh, that does not do a lot of damage, though. But it does hit her. I guess audiobooks are one way to do it. There are probably better swords than this, then. Because these do not do a lot of damage. Ow. Here we go. This is what you do. You trap them against the corner here. Oh, shit. Can you not? Oh shit, I did not expect her to keep going like that. Oh, that was an AOE move. I thought she was going to do the one on the ground again. Ow. Just bring out the blades, because it's guaranteed to hit. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. Wing of Astel is a good inscaling weapon. Granted, you aren't going to get that for a while. Oh, yeah, I know about the Wing of Astel. I know that Astel gives some good stuff. I was planning on using some Astel stuff. 
into pulling good inspiration. Uh, I think this uh, Sora Seal is... Uh... If I remember correctly, this thing is a pure upgrade. Because the defensive stats that it gives you counteracts the increased damage that you take. So, for someone like me that doesn't have a lot of great talismans right now, this could be really good. But my understanding is that the defensive stats it gives you counteracts the extra damage you take. And it's why the Scar Seal is better than the Source Seal. The Source Seal is better? Well, the Source Seal is better for my build, but at the same time, it still increases my damage. Like, my damage taken. Like, the Source Seal could be the difference between getting one shot or two shot instead of getting three shot, which... But with the Scar Seal, it's just a net upgrade. Especially at lower levels, when the stats mean more. I'm going to equip this, probably. I don't think there's any reason not to. Okay... The reduced defenses don't matter if you don't get hit. You got that right, bitch. But I am so going to get hit. Let's level up. Uh, what do I level up? I'm planning to go pure in, but I should maybe get a little bit of dex just to increase casting speed. Uh, that's probably like late game shit, though. Like when my stats are already maxed. Maybe I just pump more into Vigor right now, because you can never have too much Vigor. Well, you can have too much Vigor, but for the most part, Vigor is one of the most useful stats early game. Late game, when the scalings are better. Do I have some advice for you? Fine, I'll click on this link. Get good? Aw, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you really gonna fucking throw the get good at me? The words of my people. Ugh. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry, my back is killing me. I need to stretch for a second. I'm going to stand up and just take a quick stretch break. Uh, this will take, like, no, no more than, like, two minutes. So I'm not even going to switch the stream. I'll be right back. Ugh, okay, I'm back. I'm gonna do some... I'm gonna do some Vigor here. More HP, I always feel like, is more useful early game. Just by far and above. I could pump in 
when I need to hit a stat cap of some sort. I don't know where I'm going to stop with Vigor stat leveling. Might stop at around uh, 40, 50, maybe around then. I don't know when the soft cat is, cap is. I think the soft cap is 50. And yeah, that does sound very funny. You're good right where you are? Well, fuck you. I am not good. Vigor is important. Anyway, I think there's a memory stone over here, so I'm going to head back over this way. I think I need to take this one here so that I can go up a little bridge up there. I'm not staying at 20 Vagor, my dude. If I'm going pure int, then I have stat points to spare, and those stat points are going to Vagor. Vigor. What? How do you pronounce it then? I'm bad at words, okay? Vigor. Vigor sounds like... No, okay, look. I'm really afraid of pronouncing it that way because of the fucking captions, okay? Okay? I have a reason. <laughs> okay? All right? All right, okay. We're, call we're calling it Vigor, and you're going to have to deal with it. Unless you mean Vigor. I don't know. Eyes are weird. I think you need to avoid using the eyes for pronunciation. No, not the league champ. Okay. Oh, well, you're going to have to deal with Vigor for the rest of the playthrough, okay? Okay, so I do want to get down there somehow. And up over there. I don't think this is a fall that I can survive. Wow. Yeah, wow. The captions picked it up as bigger. Look, man. I don't want I'm not playing with fire. We found another side of grace. Auto-generated captions are so funny. Yeah, I'm surprised a lot of streams don't have them. They're like the easiest thing in the world to set up. Like it took me like five minutes, and it like it just opens up your stream to like so like a good group of people. Like it just accessibility options are always good. I currently have it set to English Canadian, just as a note. So it should pick up any weird Canadian way of saying words that I say. The captions are hilariously wrong all the time. Yeah, I could see the Australian accent fucking with that. I think it's this way that I want to go, right? Yeah, there's the building I want to head to. Might as well activate this. I don't know if I'm actually going to find that catacomb, but might as well activate it. Also, I just want to give a nice little shout out to Alleyboy, 
for being my 100th follower. Thank you so much. You don't see the captions on mobile? Ah, oh, that's a shame. You have to enable them, just as a note. Like, the captions aren't there by default. But there might not be the option to enable them on mobile. Years ago, when it used to be horrible, me and a friend recorded a video and proceeded to spend the rest of the day laughing at the horribly random captions. It's definitely a lot better nowadays. Seek the three wise beasts. Do I have to do this at night? I think that answers my question. That it doesn't need to be at night. I can't remember where the other two are for this one. It was so fixated on mentioning Bill Clinton. That's funny. My fellow Americans. Bring out your guns. <laughs> you see, normally I would have online messages helping me out to find out where these are. Oh, there's one just right here. Okay. <laughs> so where was the third one? Hello, Kage no Yoshina. How are you today? And yes, you were running into one back by the stairs. Isn't that the one that I literally just killed? No left side? Oh. Like. Oh. Oh. I see it. Okay. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. You have audio muted. Okay. Well, there are closed captions. You might uh, tell Kage that there are closed captions <laughs> if they're muted. Excellent. The memory stone is what I wanted. One second. I'll just tell them. Although, if they're on mobile, they might not be able to enable it, which might get in the way of that. The mobile app supports it? Oh, sweet. Thanks for checking that. Can I get up here like this? There's probably an easier way to get up there. Granted, if they're not using the official app, which is very possible, I'm not sure. Honestly, I, you should be using the app. The uh, kind of sucks without the app. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Kage. <laughs> really appreciate it. There are third-party apps which enable better Twitch TV and FFZ emote. Ah, okay, I see. Oh shit, what is going on in this area? Hello, friend. How are you today? Ow, don't chuck rocks at me.
Actually, what I should be using here is probably the arc. Just uh, clear out these new goons. Yep, definitely want to clear out those goons. And it might be a good idea to actually arm my physic with something. Help! Help me! Ah! Oh shit, I'm out of juice. Do not, do not. Ow, do not pull me into your schemes. I just, just let me do my thing. Okay, now we can switch to the pebble. Hey, he's dead. Wait. Do I not get anything for that? What the fuck? What the fuck? They finally <laughs> added the most... Oh yeah, I, I haven't really played around with gravity magic at all. I really should. Yeah, he doesn't drop anything? Oh, that's lame. There must be something that I can get here then. This area is just way too unique looking to not have anything. Gravity magic is fun. Ooh, I should play around with it then. But the question is, would gravity magic fit with Puro? I don't think that's a... That's a question we all need to ask ourselves. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Oh yeah, that does sound like it would be fun, Fire Ninja. I'm assuming it involves pushing them off the edge. He in his readings, he learned about astrophysics and learned about orbital. And that's what I'm saying, like, just as a whole, magic seems to suit how uh, Puro would approach stuff. I'm almost at a level up. Do I have any inventory to do that for me? Yes, I do. Give me that dank level up. I think I'm going to increase my mind a bit more. I think mind is something that I'm going to need a lot more of. I need to improve my brain energy and FP. You see, that is a very, very fair take. Holy Mike. That's pretty much my knowledge on him, too. All these guys are back, but that one guy isn't back. That's kind of weird. But he doesn't fucking drop anything. Like, what a scam. Alright, what else is there to look at here? Looks like there's a catacomb here, so I guess I might as well check that out. Uh, catacombs are mostly for spirit summons, but uh, they can still contain some other stuff. They summon him? Uh, I see. That makes sense.
out. I don't know. What's the funny Canadian way? I just know the way that I've been saying it my whole life. What is the funny Canadian way? He is sweet but kind of gullible. I've watched a bit of the game, so I know I actually do know more than I let on. That's my impression of him, too. You don't know how to type it out phonetically? Well, I say it like, out. Oh. That's how I say it. I don't know if that's the funny Canadian way to you. But that's how I say it. It's sort of there. I bet I would accidentally say it sometimes. Not quite the full Canadian experience. What are you talking about? I am 100% authentic Canadian. And no, I, I don't say about. I say about. Oh fuck, I keep drinking the physic that has nothing in it. I need to remember to put something in it. Oh, this is sus. This is sus. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh shit, I don't think I've ever been in this one before. <gasps> What's the, what, so what am I supposed to do here? Oh fuck. I'm gonna get hit again. Ow. I mean, fair. Valid. You're right, Fire Ninja. That is very true. Is this room just like... Just a fuck you room? I guess the... I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. A... I love these things. <laughs> Please help. I've, n I d I've never found that one before. I don't think I've ever been in this catacomb. Like, this is a complete, this is like new to me. It's amazing that I put like 120 hours into this game and I still fucking seeing new stuff. Also, uh, that's fine, Master. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Do these guys just keep spawning? I think they just keep spawning. I'm just gonna run. Also, with no messages on the ground from other players, I'm not really gonna know where hidden rooms are. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, it's obvious that they reuse assets up the ass, but the layouts of the dungeons themselves are very unique and interesting. Especially the catacombs. The catacombs do an excellent job of fucking with your mind. Especially later on. You're right, but the messages still managed to help me find quite a few secret rooms.
Oh, you absolute bitch. Oh, you bitch. I reject your way of life. Let's head back to the, uh, the Grace. I think I really want to get that carry-on slicer on because I want to have a quick, cheap way to use my magic to, to do damage. Reject imp, return to stupid dogs. Oh, I hate those things so much. Finding my first Priding Pat was a highlight to my first playthrough. Ow. Calm down, losers. Oh my gosh, I hate it when they have like a bajillion enemies in the same room. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, the carry-on slicer is good. I can attest to that. Still getting hit though. No, that's not what I want to do at all. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, the carry on slicer is kind of fantastic. That is a lot of fucking damage. Holy crap. Wow. This boss is freaking to me. The way that moves makes you feel like a statue being puppeted by a greater being. Well, they're, that's not even just a boss. That's like a normal ass enemy later in the game. Ugh, I need a stretch break, man. Dodge, this game's got so much fucking content. Ah, oh, fuck. How's the stream quality? Good? Are you guys seeing it in, like, the full 60 frames experience? Or is it lagging at all? The game is running perfectly fine for me, so I'm just wondering if it looks like that on your end. Oh, I've got hiccups. Doing good. It's great when Twitch isn't buffering. Uh, you can probably turn the quality down for that. Uh, though sometimes Twitch be Twitch. And there isn't much that you can do about that. It's not on my end. My internet's great. Okay, it's probably Twitch then. Ah, fucking Twitch. Fucking Twitch. Ah. Maybe it's my end? Well, if it was my end, then I think Fire Ninja would be complaining about buffering too. Probably just Twitch being Twitch then. 
The captions just did not get that one at all, though. Okay, let's go explore a bit more. Uh, I'm probably going to be playing for like another 20 minutes or so. And then I'm almost certainly going to have to head to bed before I ruin my work shift tomorrow. So let's explore a bit more. Maybe find an int weapon before we pack it in for the day. Where these these jellyfish weren't here before. Probably they probably nighttime enemies. Screw Twitch, I'm going to hitbox. I think the next thing that I want to check out is this. Right here, right here, right here. Let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of all my other map icons. Go away. Go away. I never did go here. Well, we'll mark it as a, something that I need to do. I remember when Twitch did something stupid and Hitbox tried to capitalize on it by advertising as the upgrade to Twitch and it didn't pan out. <laughs> Oof. I don't even know what Hitbox is, so I guess that's how much you can tell how it worked. Ugh, I need a fucking better chair, man. I have a better chair coming, but we ordered it <laughs> through my dad's work to get it for free. And it's not going to be here for like next month. So, one hand, yay, free chair. On the other hand, I've got to deal with this shit current chair until then. It was a competitor to Twitch. It must be really hard to compete with Twitch. Like, how do you compete with Twitch? Everyone knows it. It was actually a really decent platform. Sucks it didn't pan out then. I need to go down, so I need to go, like, way down. I think the only way to get way down is through that, uh... There was, like, a gust tunnel thing here. Yes, there. That seems a bit too far for me to reach from here, but I can reach it from across the bridge. This is before the low latency option was a thing? Oh, so Hitbox had the low latency before Twitch did. And then Twitch added it later. I see. Low latency is great. It really may helps with interacting with chat. I remember when Mixer tried to be a competitor to Twitch as well. and That one actually kind of took off a little bit. And then it just died. <laughs> I think the only real competitor that uh, Twitch has right now is YouTube. Mm, I probably should have jumped into that. But in case I fall and die, let's activate this first. Where was that? There's like a... There. Got it. And all I get is this stupid smithing stone. <laughs> Tornado warning? Oof. You need to get into shelter then, don't you? Twitch and YouTube serve two completely different purposes, though. But the thing is, YouTube has a gaming stream channel. Like, you can stream on YouTube. Warning ain't for you? Oh, okay. 
Okay, I've definitely done this mine before. Ow. Bitch. I definitely think I'd prefer the ranged option for bosses and stuff, but this sword seems like really good for conserving FP against just the regular mooks. Then again, there are moments where I probably will still want the pebble. I wish I could set, like, different buttons to use different spells. Well, there might actually be a way to do that. I just never really looked, maybe. I know that you can set a shortcut. There's a couple of really good ink katanas you can pick up and... Oh, I'm sure there is. But I'm not wikiing where to find them. I kind of want to stumble upon these things naturally. Since I don't know where, really where they are. Like, I know where, like, the stuff for my old build is, and I do know where some, like, staffs are from when I played this game before. But I don't really remember where a lot of stuff is because I wasn't really focusing on what spe where the spells and stuff were because that wasn't my build. So a lot of those things I just kind of ignored. So I don't know where any of those stuff is, really. Ooh, that looks like a somber stone. Definitely going to need those. I have a feeling we're going to be using a somber weapon at some point. Exalted flesh. My favorite. A lot of smithing stone ones here. Not a bad thing. I'm definitely going to need more of them anyway. I think I'm probably going to pack it in after this mine. I've done the strength, faith, arc, and dex int playthrough, so I've gotten a pretty decent idea of where all the good stuff is. Fair enough. I'm not doing dex int though, I'm doing pure dex, but it might end up being dex int long term. Like once I'm done investing in int, if I over level myself, I might get some. Like I might get some int as well, like some dex I mean. Dex is useful because it increases like uh, casting speed too. So it's not like a wasted stat when I'm if I'm just gonna use magic. Dex is a good stump, dump stat. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's going to be my dump stat. My, I'm basically going to be doing basically Vigor, Mind, and Vex. Dex? No, no. Vigor, Mind, and Int. And then potentially dumping into Dex if I hit soft cap on all three of those things. Although Int is going to take a long time before I hit soft cap. Well, not necessarily soft cap, but Int, I believe, just you has some really high requirements to cast some spells. So I'm probably going to need to pump my int really high. Yeah, that's what I mean. 70 is the highest. And that's a lot. Like, that's far beyond the soft cap. Which I think is 60, right? The 60 is the soft cap, I believe, in this game. 80? Oh, okay. I thought it was 60. Are 
All right, I think this is the boss. No, I thought 40 was the soft cap in older games. I was like, can we talk about this guy and how amazing that thing is coming up, extending, you know? You know what I mean? These guys are kind of nice. Granted, he doesn't seem like he can do anything against magic, but you know, he tries his best, <laughs> you know? Don't think that rusted anchor is gonna be something that I particularly care too much about. Is there anything else in this area that I should be aware of? I think there was one other path that I could take. 44 e common is quality builds, but heavy sharp would just go to 60. Hmm, interesting. Almost jumped down the pit. That's good to know, though. I didn't know that. I think I am going to finish exploring this cave, and then that's probably it for me today, before I screw over my uh, sleep schedule tomorrow. Also, I saw another cave that I could jump to up here, so I gotta check that out. Yeah, right here. No! I don't think there's going to be anything here, but worth checking. Oh, wow. There's literally nothing here. What a fucking scam that was. All right. I, think, I don't think there's much more to explore here. Just whatever's up that ladder, because I don't think I've been there. Yep, there was fucking nothing up here. Just a single smithing stone. Alright, I think I'm going to pack it in for tonight. Really, really great streams today. Lots of people joined. You guys are super active in chat. I had a fucking blast. You all are fucking great, and I love you all. Oh, but I am tired. I have work tomorrow. I have to be up at 6.30, which is in six hours from now. So if I don't go to bed now, I'm going to have a rough-ass day tomorrow. So <laughs> I really appreciate you all coming down. If you're not already following, give me that follow so that you see the next one. Uh, currently the stream schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, with Sunday being a variety day where I play whatever the fuck I want. Uh, Thursday, the current plan is to check out that new TMNT beat-em-up game on Thursday. And the current plan for Saturday is to continue playing this, uh, Elden Ring playthrough. So that's the plan. That's the schedule. Uh, the TMNT game looks like a lot of fun. It's a beat-em-up, and you can play a splinter in it, which is exactly why I'm playing it on stream. So that should be a lot of fun. If I get bored of it pretty quick, we'll we might move over to the Elden Ring playthrough later that day. But I don't think so. It looks like a lot of fun. So yeah, let me see if I can find someone to raid.
Mm, we've got two people that I kind of want to raid. Two people I think are pretty fun. Kobol and Mars. They're both pretty fun. Let's go with Mars. He's doing some Smash Ultimate, if that sounds like your thing. If it doesn't sound like your thing, well, too fucking bad. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's raid them. Well, I really appreciate you all for coming down. If you want to join that raid, then join it up ahead. And I'll see you all on Thursday. Take care. Ow. Oh! Thank you for the raid! Thank you so much! Thank you for five people! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for the raid! What's up? Hi! Hey, love! Yeah, wait, 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 wait. How are you? Oh, fuck! That didn't happen. I forgot. I forgot again. Is it's it's my god, not me. Wither, thanks for the follow. Wait, is it? Wait, which one is it? I had to write. Wait, no. Did I actually, like, Mika? Ah. Oh. And I always forget, and I'm always the worst person in the world, and I always feel so shitty afterwards. Mika. Mika. Mika.